Got Rich Voss and Keith Robinson in studio. Good morning, boys. Hey, what's going on, man? Well, Rich Voss's uh, shirt is going on. <laughs> Where, has anyone tweeted the picture yet? Oh, that is fantastic. Uh, no one has tweeted this yet? What are we waiting for? <laughs> what? It's a cut-off shirt. What's the big fucking deal? It's a cut-off. It's early in the morning. It's not like this is a you fashion show. You should have a head to match. <laughs> <It's not> a... <laughs> Voss is now shaped like Ric Flair. <laughs> God damn, Rich. That, are, are you yeah. tr you're trying to show off more tattoos, no, I think. Listen, we I, don't give a fuck about your tattoos. Listen, first of all, let me tell you something, half fucking healthy eater. I just got this done yesterday. <laughs> this no, doesn't make so, sense. Yes, because you're going to drink that and then right. go eat fucking. Food. Am I? I hope not. All right. Go ahead. Stop trying to, try to make it sincere. You're yeah. starting to look no, I mean it. I'm you're starting to look really good. Thank you. Know. I'm telling you, when I come in here, I'm working at this for a while. Thank you. I go, what Thanks for noticing. You know, I'm well, not wearing cut off fucking shirts. <laughs> well, no, wow. you, I just had this done yesterday at Immortal you Inc. Want in us to pointing at a, he's pointing at a lobotomy scarf. <laughs> <laughs> um, really? I come, uh, yeah, attack because I have a cut off shirt? No, yes. because yeah, what, what you do you think? Because well, you're, you're calculated. You, you, you wanted us to see your new tattoo. No, I don't want it to. You should have just lifted up your sleeve and said, here, look, check out my no, new the, tattoo. You wanted us to comment on your new tattoo. Tattoos. This is new. I'm not sitting like this. So no, you were I'm... sleeveless with every tat you got. What's that? I don't remember you being sleeveless when you got other tats. Yeah, because yeah, they were down here. I, when they're up here, I don't want the sleeve rubbing. Why are you getting it. so many tattoos? What's going on with you? Yeah, yeah, what's going I on? I just finished enough. You used my to have arm. a couple here and there, but now it's like a couple. Yeah, you're, 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 you're all in. Are you going to do your hands and your neck next? No, no, no. What what it is is I'm. Uh, I'm empty, and I've bought everything I possibly could buy, like material, like right. golf clubs and clothes. And right. There's not there's two to things buy. left to buy: a <laughs> stool and a rope. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll loan you the money. <laughs> I'll give you the money. <laughs> you, knew, you knew he was going to come out with a good one. He 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 leaned up on his perch uh -huh. and he, <laughs> 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 he called me a bird. I really resent that. <laughs> How was BLS this morning? BLS. <laughs> God damn, I didn't Keith, go to BLS, man. Keith had the best one, though. It was when he was calling you dice. <laughs> <laughs> no sleeves <it's> on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not fat. Oh, shit. Whoa. He's not fat anymore. He's not? No, he's in shape. He's in shape. He's in shape. He's I ordered a whore and she's dodging me. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I just I don't like it to rub. And yeah, you know, yeah. What is the tattoo of? I still don't understand it. This under here used to be my star of David, but I had to cut. I'm getting oh, this all covered. Fuck, oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. what star yeah. David was. He's, he's, he's the only guy who, being Jewish in show business, hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Why did uh, you decide to cover up? You the, can't uh, cover star up the David. star of David. Holy shit! Never forget. That can't what be happened. good. I'm forgot. having it redone somewhere because I didn't like nice. how I didn't like the lettering and I didn't. Yeah. It, was just, it yeah. looked. It was too black. It looked like I was really getting on the trains. It looked like it looked like, it looked like a like that the star that they put. Right, right. So I'm gonna have it done in another area, just like. Where regular. are you gonna put it at? On huh? your back? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you gonna put the star? Not there. on your back. You know how many guys left to look at that? <laughs> Yeah, please don't come on my star. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Every time you come on my star, God cries a little. <laughs> you gotta get a trap I'm gonna, on the star. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're having a fucking a midlife and gender identity crisis. <laughs> No, it's not a midlife, because I've always wanted to do no, this. No, hopefully it's an end life. Because <laughs> I want you to die. <laughs> yeah, because that, that, that is an odd thing. It's fucking Your age. What's that? To, it is odd at your age to start getting all tatted no, up. I've like had, I was tatted all I know all you had here. a few tats, which not, is no, fine. No, the whole tops were you're, done. You're totally sleeved now. Not but totally. I still got some space. No, pretty, you're pretty much. That's, that's, that's pretty much all sleeve. sleeve. You don't like that's a sleeve. Tattoo. Yeah. To, no, it, it makes me angry. But to relocate the star of David is infuriating. I'm a relocator. <laughs> Tattoos yeah, supposed to yeah. be permanent. You don't yeah. move them around. <laughs> Why would that infuriate you? Infuriate you? Please <laughs> isolate that. <laughs> treats his tattoos like fucking Israel treats its borders. <laughs> 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 it was here, Political now it's there. Life. You know how many of your neighbors want you to relocate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit.
<laughs> oh, wow. He makes a good point. I can't even. Uh, he makes a damn good point. <laughs> damn, man. From white to light skin. But, <laughs> but what is the tattoo? That yeah, what up? is that? Well, yeah, I don't understand what it's a flower. I'm going to do. Uh, that doesn't look like a flower. No, it's a stained glass window. <laughs> it's a, that's yeah, what it is. It's a, if you look through a stained glass window, you'll see a flower. They're not. They're it doesn't not look fantastic. like a flower. They're not. They look the really good. good work. Very good work. Yeah, uh, Josh at Immortal Ink in Flemington and Clinton. That means you oh, just got a free tattoo, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. You oh, son man. of a bitch. Yeah. Where's my envelope, fast, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a taste of that. You ought to get a teardrop tattoo like your audience does on the way out. <laughs> 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 Audience is oh, when you dude. work a club. <laughs> oh, you mean? <laughs> oh shit! I fucking <laughs> bombed so oh. hard. Like in twenty years, I did one of those alternative you rooms mean four. in Brooklyn. <laughs> I, I did an alternative room in Brooklyn the other night. Oh, it's like boy. twenty people. Were they yeah. all like hipsters? I swear to God, twenty they people. All, it's a small. Oh, they all God. have. They all look alike. They're all, all hipsters, fucking right, right. clones. They all had the same beard. They like all had, Sal, right? Like, they all look like, like fucking Sal. They all had the same like shirt, like Goofy. What's like, wrong with my shirt? No, nothing, nothing on you. Is this but a I, bad shirt? No, Will you come back to something? What's wrong with that shirt? Calm down, calm down <laughs> Earth, Wind, and Fire. I oh, fucking. I'm getting into it. It's a slow trash, and it's not a bad shirt for him. At this point in his life, <laughs> but, <laughs> I've, I've worn way worse. <laughs> this is a bad shirt, and they fucking. Fuck. I'm telling you, for ten minutes, mm. tw twenty people were staring at me, oh. hostile. Okay, yeah. What joke it, did you start with? Yeah, huh? that's a good question. How did you greet the crowd? Uh, I said. Uh, I had I'm a Rich pair, Voss. No, I, one, <laughs> Too easy, I know. Yeah. You Don't lost them at coffee. Look who came out of hibernation. You lost them. You lost them at hello. <laughs> it was, it was oh, so bad. Fuck. It was so bad that when Bonnie went on, I went and sat in the car. Oh Jesus! <laughs> uh, I don't want to. I wasn't see in the them. garage with the windows <laughs> running. Yes, I, too bad you didn't and have a fucking barbecue with could Brad. Come Dump. back and fuck my wife. Oh Jesus! I just <laughs> said Bonnie would probably prefer you dead and Patrice fucking her. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, sorry. That's, nice. that's Fair. nice to wish somebody dead. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jesus, Jeez, you turned take... from the, one of the best radio DJs to, know, a, oh, to, a, to a listener. But I no, know. But no, you got to take lemons to lemonade. He was trying to not make sure right. you're dead, but make sure that Patrice was back. So you take that's the negative true. and make it a positive. Uh, sure. Or, yes, we would just prefer you again. Yeah. <laughs> Take lemons and make an eggplant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <This is> racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ on a pony. Uh no, I you know, Rich. Come I know, on. I'm I only love kidding. You. I could I, I first of all I hate the, the love thing. No. We're friends. There's no love. Right. You're, right. You're, right. You're, You're right, I forgot. You're you don't right. like hugs and stuff. He doesn't stuff. like affection at all. He can't right. handle it. He's like being touched. He's just, yeah. he, look at he, so, he cringes. Yeah. It's so uncomfortable <laughs> Why? when people go, I love you. I was at the hospital yesterday. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Voss, I, I love you. I love oh, you, too. We all love you. We all yeah. love you, man. We, we want you to you know that. Look, look, he's just look at he's crazy. Just I want to rub Jimmy some of your tattoos. Touching him in his arms, and he's freaking out. <laughs> you were at the hospital yeah. yesterday. What was that about? Oh, oh shit. No. I, well, it's you know, you're uh -oh. sitting there watching your mom, and she's going to oh. pass away. Oh, jeez. Right. You oh. know, she's. it could be two days. It could be two weeks. And I'm like... <laughs> so the hospital. You know, Sorry, what? What wow. happened? So the wow. hospital is, you know. What's going on with your mom? She can't swallow this and that. Unlike I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> my jokes don't go over. I don't care. Oh. What happened? Oh, is this mean? What's wrong with my shirt again? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh sure. Go on his shirt. <laughs> laugh at his mother dying. Yes. It's a nice equal oh, balance right there. Well, here's the thing, you know. He jumps back you know and, uh, you know. We're not going to get the break because Keith is marching down the hall. In. And he is, like, ready to roll. <laughs> By the way, uh, Bert and Philly, the premise on the Bill Hicks bit, used uh, terminally ill as stunt people. Yes. Okay. That's that. Hey, uh, Keith. Hi, Keith. Hey, Are you just annoyed? Are you annoyed already? making me sick. Go ahead, Keith. <laughs>
Keith Robinson, everyone. Yeah, well, By the, the way, fact, first time on our show this. in four years. For, well, well, the fact that you're talking to Joe about great comics makes me want to throw up. <laughs> Ask Joe about how it is driving Bill Burr around. <laughs> That's what you need to know. Oh, well, Carlin, you see, you make me. That is the worst conversation I've ever seen. <laughs> you're getting annoyed by it? Oh, it was infuriating. I was punching the air. I was so angry. <laughs> and Joe, you know, and, and how you let him skip over Richard Pryor, because Joe does not like Richard Pryor. No, that's not true. You've been hanging Shut that up with my your high-pitched voice. <laughs> You've been hanging that over my head for five years. I like Pryor just fine. I like Pryor just fine. Name one of his bits, stupid. One of them. Uh, ooh, ooh. Mudbone. Oh, oh, you know what? You I know should, what? That's, that's the one I'm a windmill would. kick him right out the chair. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> All right, go with two. My father died in your pussy. I mean, oh, that fucking bit. I'd be in that long motherfucker, Jack. I know all the fucking prior bits, dude. I have... Was it something I said? I have that... He's shaking. Look. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You can say it. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, uh, Live on the Sunset Strip. I have Here and Now. I have uh, Live and Smoking. Well, I have all either way, we, we want you to stop. You want to talk? Let's talk great comedy. And I want you but to stop with wearing those stupid. sweatshirts. Not with Joe DeRosa. Why Jesus Christ. He down. has the body of a Somalian pirate. <laughs> <laughs> he stinks. He's out of breath because he was running down that really long hall to you give really, you a beating. Oh, it just infuriated me. Listen to Jim sitting back like Bill Moyer going over. <laughs> going over. Was I, I was trying to discuss it like a gentleman. Yeah. I was trying to be a true gentleman. <laughs> right. Well, uh, Joe, I... Uh, I see that you are in alternative rooms and Bill Hicks. Oh. But in alternative, the thing is, the, the point is, in alternative room, at times they'll give you a little bit more time. Like sometimes, you know, a club audience can be fucking, like you are trying to get to something or you're doing something that's like a little bit paced and they get impatient. Alternative comics stink. A lot of them Play, No, not a lot of them. All of them. They stink. But anybody that. that puts themselves on an alternative has to stink. But it depends on what you call alternative. Like like a guy like Hicks. <laughs> no, but Hicks was, like, to me. Was Hicks an alternative? Uh, he wasn't no he, damn alternative comic. But he compared was, to though. what that was at the he time. He wasn't. How? He might be he didn't call that. himself an alternative comic. He was out there doing what he was doing. He was just that a was comic. It. It, it, it was a comic. That was when no one labeled their comedy. Yeah. They just went up and did their thing. Well, right? I still don't think it they was, should label it. But I understand what Joey's saying. You know though. why they label it? Because they stink. You have to have an excuse for not being funny, and that's what it but is. But that's not true. A lot of those oh. guys are really funny. Who? Oh, for Christ! Really? We got to get into this well, game. Well, if you're not going to get into it, shut up. Patton Oswalt's a great example. He's hilarious. Oh, shut and up! And he's Jesus one of those Christ. guys. Patton Oswalt stopped being funny in '88. Oh. I know everybody's quiet, but I said it. Shut up, <laughs> take well, it. We're going to take a break. We got Keith <laughs> Robinson. Uh, Keith, you playing the Stress Factory? Yeah, I'm at the Stress Factory. Yeah, I'm annoyed. What is what are you uh, there? Honda huh? Sykes headlining? <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. Head no, it's me. It's just me there with I don't know who. Seven three two five four five. When tonight? Ha ha. Or all weekend? Where? All tonight. I don't even know. It was like some emergency. Somebody. Oh, uh, good old Vinny. Booted him. Good old Vinny. Oh, Vinny fired somebody. I don't know what dads? happened. J.B. Spoo was supposed to be there. What, if any Are you there all weekend? Somebody? Yeah. Oh, all right. great. So it's going to be fucking Keith with a room full of angry Curb Your Enthusiasm fans. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Oh, oh, that, was, that would yeah. make me happy if nobody knew you were going to be there only for fucking JB. <laughs> no, yeah. why would I have? I wouldn't be on here if there was loaded with people. No, sure. it must have not been enough people. There. All right, we'll figure it out. Checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Got a full house today. We got Joe DeRosa to my right. And we got Keith Robinson, who came in here very angry. I walked so in. angry. Hey, when we, uh... This well, can... I walked in, I'm sorry, I walked in and Keith and Joe were going at it. Yeah. That's why I said to Joe, why don't you go look at the bishop? Why were they going at it? I don't know. The it's this alternative comedy Oh, is you're still, still on that? Well, it heats me up a little bit, you All know, because right. it's, it's never happened. You know, in school, you didn't have alternative funny guys. Mm -hmm. You didn't look over to a, a room of silence and see a bunch of guys being quiet. Now, you know, they're just alternative. Right. But the funny, funny guys were the funny guys. Funny's but funny, the right? argument, Back of the bus guys. Be fair, Keith. Nobody, nobody argued that point. The, 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 you got all hot when I said that doing those rooms in addition to the clubs has made me a better comic, and you said that that was well, bullshit. one would debate that. You said that was bullshit. <laughs> that's no. I mean, that's a ridiculous thing to combat. No, I'm listen, saying, listen I'm playing what I'm different saying rooms to you. and it's helping. But you're saying alternative comedy rooms, made, just doing different rooms made you funnier, stupid. Not the, not the room itself, not the alternative comedy room, different rooms. Fine. The rooms where 
that type of show is happening, help me out. I mean, you Joe, know, I've been funny all my life. You think I'm going to allow you to why? come here with your awful body and tell me about funny? Why are you getting so mad? Then? Because, Joe, I've been a thug nigga since I was a rug nigga. <laughs> Back in the bus nigga, hand on the trigger. But I didn't shoot from the hips. I threw from the shoulder until I got older. See, you know. You feel that right? Oh, that was beautiful. I was angry. I was angry, but I liked the way you danced around with that. Yeah. It put a cute smile on my face. Well, well I got to say, in Keith's defense, it's, it's not, not even, it's like back of the the back of the bus guys is a great description. Not in a tough guy way, but just in the fucking guys that were just kind of being assholes, mm -hmm. sitting in the back, fucking teasing everybody else. Those are typically, and the, and the guys that run comedy or in the decision making are the guys that the, the, bus the, guys. the nerds that kind of sat in the no front. Kid. Complete but, nerds. But Jim, in all fairness, and I know you're a fan of the man, Woody Allen is certainly not a back of the bus personality, and he's hilarious. But Woody Woody Allen's thing is. Woody Allen is just nothing but fucking, like, I mean, and he's one of the greatest joke writers he's, he's ever. He funny. is funny. Joke yeah. after joke after joke. Woody, to me, is, is like what an alternative comic is. Like, because he was so alternative to what everybody was back then. It was like, take my wife, please. Look at that, the kitchen. And then Woody came up, and he, I'm Jewish, and he was nebbishy, yeah. and no one was doing but, it. But that he was an alternative comic. Yeah, he didn't label it. Me, putting, it was, uh, I don't put Woody Allen in the, in, in, in the category of alternative is, comics. This is where not, you're wrong, though. This is where you're wrong. Well, I have a book, because I have a book called Seriously Funny, The Rebel Comedians of the 50s and 60s, and they talk specifically in that book about how Woody Allen, Mort Saul, Don Rickles, Phyllis Diller, and fucking so on were the alternative comics of the era because they started to play the rooms instead of the cat skills because they, they thought the cat skills wait a minute. stunk. They never called themselves alternative comics. Well, just because they, they used the no, word. No, no, well, well, why you use a word then? Because that's what it's called now. Who gives a shit? Well, see, all right. What so, changes this? I give a shit. Because I'm a comic. Well, it's morphed into where Good, a, a, it's morphed into where a lot of people. <laughs> but it's like you're, you're getting caught up in the term alternative. It's morphed into where a lot of unfunny people hide under the moniker of I'm an alternative comic. Whereas a guy like Woody was brilliantly funny, and he was just alternative to, to the style that was happening. Back then, to me, alternative was more of a style thing, and it wasn't where certain people who aren't funny made their excuse for not being funny by saying, I'm alternative. Woody was funny. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm with like, Keith. Just don't label exactly. it. Just don't label it. Just, just go it's up like there. You go up there and, and be a comic. Sorry, be funny. Right. You know, just go I, do I'm what you do. I'm not a fan of labeling all that crap. No, I'm not a fan of the theme comedy show either, by the way. No, no it's terrible. It, you get three Italian comics together and uh, yeah, they yeah. have a cute name for Joe it. Joe was uh, on the Egyptian tour, I believe. Yeah. Uh, oh, did you do, do some shows. of those? I do Arab-American shows sometimes, yeah. And it's a theme show? Well, it's they'll uh, have Arab American comedy shows where it's I'm sorry. you know it's all. I'm Arab sorry, Joe. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I'm sorry too that I sink that low to make a buck. <laughs> let's so, move, speaking of comics, let's move on to the Jamie Fox thing. Oh yeah, man. You yeah, go back to the apologize. alternative uh, comedy argument anytime, no problem. Yeah, Fox was on uh, Leno. Leno, and he was apologizing for the uh, the Cyrus thing, the Miley Cyrus yeah. thing. Mm. This is in our wheelhouse, obviously. He doesn't want to apologize, but he's got a big movie coming out. I don't blame him for this one. He's, it's like he's, he's an Oscar winner. He's like, there's too much money at stake. He's like, ugh, who cares? You know the, you know yeah, the controversy? He's thinking, he's thinking yeah. an actor. Yeah, I, I think it's no big deal, really, calling her, what, a white bitch? And he didn't call her a white bitch. Some, someone, someone on the, the show did, did right? Yeah, was, they were just being funny, and, he, and he's like... Uh, He's like fucking, uh, you know, he was talking about her big gums. It was, you know, he's shit talking or something. Getting chlamydia from the bicycle seat or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, it was that fucking was funny. Solid. You got to wrap it. You got to wrap it. That's just, Eminem would be great at that. <laughs> and he wouldn't apologize. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. You got to give him some lines for him. <laughs> but, but we understand what this is about. With a big movie coming out, he's yeah. like, you know what? I'll just make this go away. I have There's a, no plus, reason to apologize for this stuff. When we said it a million times, you're you're hanging out with a bunch of dudes. and Well, in his case, there's a, a girl on the show, and you're just trying to be funny and entertain the people. Plus, you don't, don't want to mean anything by this shit, usually. You don't want to jam your middle finger up at Disney. Which is basically what that's doing because there's too much money for him. Because Jamie, I, I will probably never make money doing Disney work. He will. Mm -hmm, right. He's a guy that could make fucking fifteen million on a Disney film. Why would he say sure. basically go fuck yourself to one of the biggest stars? It's stupid. All right, let's go to Leno and see what uh, Fox said last night. I think it, it was last night. Uh, yeah, I think he apologized last night. I gotta ask you something. Yo, I was reading some stuff. Now, what's going on with you and Miley Cyrus? What what happened there? <laughs> Did you say something inappropriate? Yeah. 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 I, I so apologize to you. Yeah. And, and this is sincere because I, I am a comedian, and you guys know that whatever I say, 
I don't mean any of it. Right. <laughs> and sometimes, as comedians, as we right. do, we go a little bit too far. Right. I have a radio show, XM 149, Foxhole 106 on Sirius. Right, right. Now, we're nice. really the black Howard Good Stern. Water. And so you know how we we, we go at want, we right? go at everybody. But there was a there was a situation with Molly Molly Cyrus, and I just want to say I apologize for what I said. I didn't mean it mal maliciously, and you know I'm I'm a comedian. I know I know that. You know that. I know. That. I know that. You know my heart. I know you. No, I know so you're Molly, a good guy. So can I look into the Molly? I apologize. So I'll call you. No, see, I, I think that's that's good. sincere, right? That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I mean. And as a, as a comedian, and I got I got a daughter too, and yeah. I, you know, and, 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 and so I completely understand. And this has really been bothering you. This has really bothered me because I'm a comedian. I don't want to. Do I lose my comedic license? Oh, can I keep my comedic license? Yeah. Yeah. You know, okay. You know, I'm gonna. I'll put it down as a warning. <laughs> But yeah, but 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 on on the real, I want but I want to nip it in the bud because what happens is is that what we do on our radio show is completely blue. But what they do, they pluck it off of the radio show, right. then they play it on the internet, and they make it seem like out of the blue. I said these crazy things right, about right. this about this younger, and it's not like that. Right, right. So I want you guys to nip it in the bud when you see the, the TMZs and the you know <laughs> all of that stuff. You know, just okay. hey, oh, that's cool. It's, that's it's cool. just jokes. Smart guy, because he heard that little. I tell you what he was worried about too is that one of them, one of them did say that white bitch, right? And he just knows that that can blow up and become a fucking mess, right? Yeah, I, he's not a dummy. I got an email from my brother overnight, uh, and he makes a really good point here about this thing. He, he writes a little venting. He says, I, I haven't heard what was said, and I probably would find it humorous anyway, but I'm irritated by the Jamie Foxx Miley Cyrus thing. This is what he says. His nine year old daughter is asking questions about it. All right. Not because she heard it on an ob obscure XM channel, but because it's being repeated all over the freaking media over and over again because they find it, quote, shocking. It was truly shocking, perhaps. Uh, if it was truly shocking, perhaps they shouldn't be exposing it to all the young fans who would not have heard anything about it. And that's one of the problems we have with the media here. You know, they, they go on and talk about how shocking something is as they play it over and over and over again, yeah. exposing it to so many more people that would have never heard this damn thing. Well, David, David Cross used to have that thing about, like, when, when the Columbine shootings happened. Right. And they were saying it's because of violence in the media. And he was like, that fucking Columbine footage was violence in the media. You showed them pulling that body out of the window a million over times and over. He's right. like, that's violence in the media. Right. But I don't know, man. I I kind of, look, I guess he did what he had to do, but there yes. was something a little weaselly about, I, I mean, I don't want to say he's a weasel, that's the wrong word, but like, if that's what it is, then it's like, fuck it, that's what it is. He didn't do it, you know what I mean? Like, and I guess you got to play ball, because he's got this movie coming out, like you're saying. You can hear but, he's playing ball. But it's like, it's uh, If like, he didn't hey, have a man, movie coming out, I bet you he would have handled that a little differently. Yeah, it's I like. Really, I really think. Well, he knows what it is. It's like, again, there's a way, there's a, there's a line between where you're going out and you're saying, fuck you, and then you're backtracking. And then there's a line where you just get caught up in a conversation, and it's like, look, he has a movie coming out. He's 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 thinking as an actor right there. It doesn't bother me as apology. It really I doesn't. would. It, well, you know what? Because I would too in his position. I wouldn't. Well, yeah, I got nothing to lose. But he's an Oscar winner. He's got millions of dollars at stake. It's stupid not to. I mean, I won. I was up for Star, so it's hundred grand. I have plenty to lose. But I, <laughs> <laughs> Molly Cyrus bugs me. Yeah. She annoys me. So if I wanted to say Molly Cyrus annoys me, she annoys me. The, what's that? The Jonas Brothers. They really bug With their me. Their promise yeah. rings. Oh my God! I wish I Michael mean, Jackson was at the height of his pedophilia, <laughs> 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 just so he could <laughs> take him to the uh, yeah. take him to the magic room and <laughs> <laughs> wipe out three little memories in one swipe. <laughs> <laughs> and Miley Cyrus is going to end up going down the same road as uh, Britney Spears, of course, yeah. eventually, right? Sure, he did. Sure, he took those like half topless well, pictures. That, she's just getting started. Yeah, I we're, think she's older. We're than talking what she about says, you know main. You know, doing a little heroin to the the veins and stuff. <laughs> She's gonna go all in. I'm, I'm thinking. Did Brittany do a little heroin? I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> you wouldn't I apologize? No, I would. No, 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 not at all. I would probably dig myself. I would dig myself deeper and deeper. 
<laughs> he just oh, blows up his spot bar. wherever he goes. <laughs> yeah, the publicist would go, look, I, you don't want to say you're sorry, but you didn't have to call her an ugly little white bitch again. <laughs> you didn't have to add ugly to it. <laughs> Keith Robinson's a really funny guy, but not a smart dude. Not, not at all. Not at all. And I'll tell you why. Businessman, no. He had a great appearance on our show. A great one. We're like, oh, my God, let's make him a regular like the rest of the guys. We would love to have Keith as part of this ONA thing, right? His last appearance was February 16th, 2005. And how many times have we asked you to do the show? Uh, how many? A, a lot. Well, yes, I can't count I, you that know, high. The, the thing about it, man, I'm an eccentric businessman. I'm, yeah. I fly. You're not a businessman. <laughs> Keith is you a just fucking... don't want to drive from Philly. <laughs> Keith is a bum. That's what's keeping you. A little drive up the turnpike. I'm horrific. I, I admit it. But if you had more prostitutes here, I would really. We should start an getting effort. some more whores in here because Keith is a fucking old school pig. Yeah, oh, I yeah. need more old school. Whores. I love whores, man. I, I'm, I'm, you know, it's my thing. Yeah, a nice whore. Skanky or? Nah, just a a prostitute. It just feels good. Street corner. The, uh, uh, Craigslist. Craigslist. I've been, you know, I read Craigslist like the the, 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 the Daily paper. News <laughs> every morning. I get up and look through to see who's new in town. <laughs> just visiting. <laughs> just visiting. Something. Looking for a generous friend. <laughs> Is that great? New in town. New in town. I'm, I'm excited. I start to shake when I see new in town. <laughs> uh, <that's good>. um, <laughs> Fucking, uh, is there anything worse, though, when you see, like, a really hot ad, and then you see the same ad with just a different picture lower, and you know that some agency <laughs> putting out the ad, you're like, God damn it, that one seemed really genuine. Keith Robinson asked if um, Sam has a little black in him, and we said that Sam was tested, Keith. He was tested. I don't believe it. I, I got to see. He, I need a retest. He was tested. In front of a whole black audience. There's not <laughs> yeah, a, I know. There's not a drop of black blood in this kid. How was he tested? Do a lot of black girls, like, give you a little, like, when they... He used to go out with that. He used like, to just date black chicks. He was yeah. a, oh, you did? Yeah. Yes. I, as a matter of fact, That's I, I, heard, I learned That's the other day. That's all you need to know. His fiance is, like, the first white chick he's ever gone out with, right? Yeah. And she's, what did you... After the test, you got rid of the black girl? Because <laughs> 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 he starts dropping the M-bomb like crazy. Oh, God. He's all electricity. He threw out all his cocoa butter. <laughs> you see five empty boxes of fruity pebbles in the garbage. <laughs> like nine fruity pebbles. He threw out like nine hats out the window. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, like hats. Yeah. Sam, yeah. you're happy you're not black. <laughs> No, I would be fine if I was black. But yeah, yeah. Now you're pretty happy. You're, you're he's not black. black. Though, but yeah, you are black. He is, right? Yeah. He's black. There so is so yeah, fucked up the test. Of course there is. What else could he be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guess it. No, no, he's not. It. He, <laughs> he looks he, like Noah. Whatever that kid jock him, Noah is, is what you are. Yeah. Wow, you're, 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 you're black, man. He's you part got Swiss and part black. 100% black. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100% black. 100% black. What is it? What else are you? It's all white European blood. No. There's no black guy looted that white guy a long time ago. Hey, yeah. That's cool. Hey, hey Sam Gibson Maybe. says the same thing. <laughs> Pointing at Bob. I'm Irish. Shut up. You're not Irish. I'm Irish. You're Samoan and Mexican. <laughs> That's not true. My name is Robert. I have French Canadian. I have French Canadian. French Canadian. I have French Canadian and Irish. Robert Patrick Kelly. Uh, Maybe we just got a shitty company to test Sam. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Exactly. Keith, maybe well, we just got a shitty company. We, we, we had a company in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like him. He didn't use hot sauce. He used ranch. <laughs> yeah. We put a pussy in front of him. He ate it. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuckin laughs> <laughs> <laughs> he's, that, he's definitely black. He's, Did the black chicks like you? We said that they really dig you. Yeah, and even now when I go into stores or something, black women always make comments about what I should do with my hair and really, and yeah, white women. Remember those what days, do you mean, even now that you show them the test, even yeah, now, yeah, yeah, even now, yeah. show them the test. No <laughs> even now. In my doesn't mean anything to them. <laughs> those are credit cards. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Sam is black. Did, yeah, uh, did yeah, Roland take his beating? You're what? the best visual ever. What? With the, Roland. And he's a Turkish uh, Rex Ryan. This <laughs> 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 is his gesture. <laughs> <laughs> did he, he take him... it well? He, he doesn't like oh, uh, he being attacked. Oh, he doesn't? No. Uh, I think he has a soft spot for me, Roland. You think? I mm. think so, but we'll find out when he gets back. Where did Roland go? He's spitting in my eggs right now. <laughs> 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 you had to go get the food, Roland? 
Yeah. No, he had an intern. Where's me. Roland? Bring him in here. No, no, Roland, Roland does, I'm sure. Uh, by the way, uh, just so everyone knows, Colin Quinn, Bob Kelly, Rich Voss, and, of course, Keith Robinson in studio today. Yes. Just yeah. fucking killing it. That's what I'm What's, talking uh, about. What's killing it? And the ironic thing is, Patrice has zero respect for any of us comedically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he wouldn't watch any of our specials. <laughs> he, I don't think he's ever seen me do stand-up. <laughs> no, 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 You can't just no. let him. You can't. Wow. This, is, this is not a normal oh, show. No, <laughs> because any other normal show, I'd say that. <laughs> You guys yeah. are all fucking four of you, five of you attacked. You all got your eyebrows all went up. We got a, we got a better one, fatso. You did waddle right into that one. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you going into a playroom. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> Anthony outside of Jimboree. <laughs> fucking... Well, you just rewrote his joke. Uh, and then he did. Right, let him alone. Okay. Anyway. Leave him alone. Yeah, boys, well, leave me alone. Yeah. Talk when other people alone. do it. They leave put their own you twist gray on fox. it. Yeah. Gray Fox. <laughs> it's like you rewrote my Twitter character. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't mm. complain. Yeah, Foss, you are a thief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he did steal jokes. Uh, I wish he it, did steal. He uh, steals the bad ones. The crowd is Black guys eat coochie. Yeah. <laughs> a washing machine door. She's dodging me. It's my favorite. This is fucking this 10 years ago. No, no, no. You did it last week. No, Let me tell you. We have all the oil. This is my favorite. This is, this is my favorite. Oh, I did that one still. My favorite. My favorite boss jokes. Where are you from? <laughs> no, how about the time? How about the time you had to sell it and some girls walked by and you go, excuse me. And she goes, I know. Could you buy me a house? Oh, oh, she by oh, the way no. Oh, she stopped. She goes, I know. Could you buy me a house? Oh, that was Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was two weeks ago. She goes, set it on fire. She goes, <laughs> goes, hey, miss, can I burn you a house? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, stop let, beating you again. Let me tell you something. Oh, fucking, <laughs> okay? Fucking what? No, oh, fuck all it. What? We're just spinning up. Fucking fuck. Not where you're from. Where you from. <laughs> Saturday night, my second show, I did an hour and 20 minutes off the top of my head. I didn't oh. fuck a stool, okay? <laughs> I didn't fucking run around and <laughs> do <laughs> fart jokes with babies fuck in my fucking so head. So you fucking so bodak. Because you're not let clever enough to write fart jokes. Off the top of your head. That's how you, it's the only choice you have. <laughs> so, wow, uh, well, these lights are crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at the buffets down the back. That's yeah, nice. Right back to food. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only place you do shows with this food. <laughs> I think Voss's friend just saw Bobby can do his act there. <laughs> Big Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to break every... Uh, Keith will never come because it's not a rent center Too wordy? No, but we're <laughs> fucking... Wordy. We're comics. No. Come on. Too wordy? Yeah. 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 Funny, yeah. yeah. Did he look like he fall through an awning, too? Shut up. <laughs> Is that some of the jokes you told off the top of your head at the club? <laughs> right off the top. An hour and 20, ad lib. Get... get one of the uh, 12 audience members to fucking... <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Dude, anybody can ask up in front of eight people. First of all, nobody eight. in the history of comedy has ever done an hour and 20 off the top of the head, so I'm calling you a, a thief and a liar. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm calling you a thief steals. and a liar and stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. Next. Foster <laughs> says whatever is necessary in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I take four hours. No, you not Okay. <laughs> 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 an hour and twenty. Huh? Okay, it was an hour and twelve. Or maybe yeah. an hour and five. Yeah. Where were you? Minutes. Where 15. were you? Huh? Where were you? In, in uh, Newport News, Virginia. Virginia. Yeah, Come thank on. you. Where were you? In Newport News. Where is that? It's the Vegas of the ACC. Damn wow. it. <laughs> and I knew halfway through. Uh, I'd love to, <laughs> I'd love to snap your number two pencil finger right now. And I knew uh, almost a quarter of the way through that one. I had to actually get a number two. I could have just said pencil. pencil yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, number two is to so pencils bad. topical. So Jesus, that was the last time you needed one of those for a exactly. test. Exactly. Like, yeah. 
I'll take it on iPads you know, you know it's really bad when they don't even boo you. You just try to help me with the joke. Choose <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your suggestions. <laughs> Maybe you could. Uh... <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck him. Uh, <laughs> Opie, what? what are you doing over there? <laughs> Just a weird fucking morning, that's for sure. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, did, you end, ever, did you wind up going to the uh, fucking mm -hmm. shitheads down there at Occupy? Mm -hmm. On Friday? No. No? Uh, Have get, they come up wanna, with one to make an update? I heard Keith's people yeah. acting up down there, too. I heard they robbed a couple of whiteies down there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they're, they're getting some riffraff down there that's going into the tents and just, like, either uh, sexually assaulting people what? or robbing them. Uh, also, they're having trouble uh, figuring out how, to, you know, how to divvy up the money because they've been getting a lot of contributions. So they're Jeez. pissed now that they buy food and clothes with this money for the protesters. Right. And that other people are coming in and taking advantage of the free food sure. and clothes and money. Leave uh, Robert not, Kelly alone. And, uh, <laughs> and here's the thing, you they're not contributing <laughs> to the protest, which is exactly finger what in they're the tent. supposed to be protesting against. Is this, you know, uh, uh, you're supposed to give people some money when, when you have a little more than they do and, and keep this whole even thing going. And they're doing exactly what they're uh, uh, protesting uh, about. Yeah, but you can't say keeps people. That's fuck out. You get one bad watermelon, that doesn't mean the whole oh, world. What? 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 what fucking year wow. is this? Exactly. Oh what year is this? <laughs> Just put on blackface and sing Mammy. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to dress our kid in blackface for Halloween. <laughs> 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 Don't let him say it. Don't let him say it. Don't let him say it. He said it with Bonnie's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's any any party Anthony throws after three o'clock. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Hello, my baby. Hello. <laughs> blackface, please. I get a lot of candy for the uh, ch children, uh, huh? and the uh, inner city children do find their way into our neighborhood once a year for Halloween. Well, you Bob? You sound like so, fucking it, Charles. Dirty and um, fucking oh ragged. Why would you try no. to even say oh, dirty? No, no, Charles, no, dirty. Dirty. Charles, dirty. You know the thing, the thing on the hospital that you're right on. Uh, dirty. <laughs> he was dope. Charles, dirty. What's his name? No, don't help him. Oh, oh, my God. Business, <laughs> Charles, dirty is amazing. Uh, Charles, dirty. Charles, oh, dirty. Stupid, can't get the new iPhone because he wouldn't understand him. <laughs> what? Although he's saying that, 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 that stupid that. boss was talking to Siri and it wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah exactly. All right, whatever. Come on. Give me the bio Thanks. of Charles <laughs> Durney. I don't Durney? know what you mean, Durney? stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah, stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, boss is talking to his thing and have water damage. <laughs> I return this. Yeah. He's got the only iPhone with it, with window wipers. Window Whoa. wipers? Oh, He's fucking old man <laughs> driving old man. <laughs> Windshield <Kyle> wipers. <laughs> <laughs> with window cleansers. Henry Ford asshole. named him that. <laughs> the old Model T. <laughs> <laughs> window wipers. Window wipers. Window wipers. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is Turned on when he was driving away. No, that's what he calls Colin, a window wiper. <laughs> uh, okay, oh. pop, pop, sorry. Yeah. Oh, did you get my window? <laughs> Colin's fucking jack o' lantern face. What? Nice, what? nice accent, jack o' lantern. Come jack on, jack o' lantern. Anything else, Nana? Yeah. Got some tea in the town. Call me a jack o' lantern, you Mongolian <laughs> Marlon Brando. <laughs> Easy to you fucking queen of England. Oh. <laughs> this is terrible. I was going to talk about something really good. I had a really good thought and then Voss spoke. <laughs> Fuck. That is true, Rich. I mean, oh, uh, trick or treating. Yeah, well, of they course, don't, they don't do. <laughs> they don't do in New York City. When you, me and my wife tried to, we got candy for the kids one year. Oh, but you it, ate it all before they got there. You really you just yeah. gave them empty wrappers. Uh, <laughs> do you dress up as a garbage can and put a sign that says "Throw candy here"? <laughs> wow. Uh, and it wasn't uh, a wordy. Uh, uh, oh, it was a documentary. No, this is the worst part about it. He did the he did the hand gesture. 
We're on the radio. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Here. Uh, but it, 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 trying to give out candy in New York is like you, sure. you feel like a pedophile. Because <laughs> yeah. the kids don't come. They go to stores. They don't go to houses because it's an apartment building. You can't really get in. Can't get in. So you, you sit on the thing and you're like, hey, come over here. We have candy. You don't and they have just, to give them candy. Wait a minute. What do you, what do you want to give them? Who said that? What? What's wrong? Look, Punk is proud of it. Because no, 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 you can with those little hands. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Perfect for a baby dick. Yeah, okay. And now he's making me gay. Two. Who? Oh, okay. You, pedophile and gay. Uh, no, you're not gay. Oh, how, how do you give a hand job? Not you. Uh, We're ask, talking about ask him. him or him. Pointing <laughs> <laughs> oh, me and Bob. Yeah. Wow. Well, oh, what are you gonna oh, do, boy. Jim? <laughs> He's fucking right on the money. He should, he should be talking to fucking grandfather of fucking hand jobs over here. <laughs> the first one. To, the first one to give a nice hand job to somebody. Colin gives out candy in August. <laughs> wow. Well, he, he hasn't had a lot of practice here. Listen, Anthony. Yeah. So you're gonna give out Anthony? Anthony. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Anthony. Sorry, dude. I'm, I'm gonna give out gun Anthony. shy right no, now. Every, every, I yeah, like when all of them turn at once. It really is. <laughs> this is just it really is fucking, treacherous. Just an awful now, position. Every year. I like uh, OPC because you can look at them. <laughs> I'm gonna put a wall up, sir. <laughs> every year that way. You have in your personal life. <laughs> oh, come on! What, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, I've never been to your uh, house, Opie. <laughs> and you never will. <laughs> you fucking softball I just threw up. <laughs> and swing hits, and it's out of the park. No, I do I do get uh, like big bowls of candy, and, and, then, and then, you know, the kids come to the door with the parents. It's a very Jewish neighborhood, you know. And you, you give them out, uh, and, and you, you let them, you know, the honor system, they just grab a handful. And uh, then I had a bunch of inner city children, I guess, had been bussed into the area or whatever it is. And, and I couldn't God. do that. There was a kid, I swear, there was one kid just took his arm and leaned it onto the edge of the, edge of the bowl and just let it pour into his bag. I'm like, come on. What'd you do? Come on. Nothing. I was a spineless asshole. <laughs> he was 25. <laughs> his name was Keith Robinson. That's his trick or treat. It was, uh, yeah, so, you know. Yeah, we tried to give out candy one year. You can't do it. All right, so we know. All right, you said that already. Huh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. What, are you working out right now? What happens is. this, guys, really. I really did go back to the well a lot. <laughs> Halloween's coming, guys. How many people? <laughs> yeah, show of hands from anybody. Who... Let me hear from the people that give away a candy. Yeah, but I have. Half the ladies. Guys, I was trying to give away. Remember when you'd actually go to people's houses? Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah, I remember something. that. Yeah, now it's all 3D yeah. printers and cyber treating. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> We take our kid to stores. We don't go to houses anymore. We just go to stores. <laughs> I was going to punch Voss's cake. And those uh -huh. little baby hands. Yeah. I wish you just stopped after fast. Voss. That, I'll tell you, that green belt really came in handy. Just now. Uh, <laughs> Voss has got good reflexes. He really does. He really is yeah. good. Quick Why? Because I could turn. Wait, 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 wait. Was you gotta understand that you just hit me, and if you could, if I could take a photo of these assholes and their evil faces, and say, just scan me like the Terminator, yeah. trying to come up with you know how long that's gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> That's a die, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what are you chewing on? A like the Nicorette gum? Yeah, it's a brace. Still, still, still on the gum. Nicorette. What's wrong with you? It's not Nicorette. This is dentine. No, it's not. It's Nicorette. It's dentine. Yeah, how long have you been chewing Nicorette? Huh? How long have you been <laughs> chewing Nicorette? Oh, okay. Such uh, five years. Let's see, since one, six, the last time you, uh... Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's that oh, off the that's that, that's that off the cuff stuff he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you were uh, oh, 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 twenty minutes of oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. What are you doing? I'm looking at the food that came. Oh, oh great. We're going to have Rich eating and being on, oh, on the radio good. at the same time. It didn't work well last time. you got to admit. Come what? on. When you were eating and on the radio. It's the same thing as him being on the radio. Isn't it the same <laughs> sound? <laughs> <laughs> Come on off the cuff. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a theme all day long, and uh, we continue with the theme. Another horrific uh, marriage gone bad. Ooh. Ooh, goody. All coming in today, these stories, by Good. Way. What would possibly motivate a 39-year-old mother, Hung Sung Lee, to take her three sleeping children, ages two, seven, and nine, move them into the same bed with her sleeping husband, then douse all four of them with lighter fluid, and then try to set them on fire. Jesus, all right. how heavy do you We're want? supposed to answer that? I, I, what would motivate her to do that? What would motivate her to do that? Wow. That maybe to be the question. She was going to smoke a cigarette? <laughs> she was cold? What, what, what are, her be. response is going to be? She heard the voice of God. Ah, that's most women's crazy play. That God Gotta told. put the kids yeah. in the bed. Yeah, yeah. That's the. Me Did you hear about the guy who flew the airplane into his, uh, his oh yeah mother-in-law's? I, I like how they said that. Yeah, he had his daughter in the plane, and uh, uh, they crashed into his mother-in-law's house. And they say they're looking into whether this might not be an accident or not. <laughs> it's like what are the odds you're gonna be flying with your fucking daughter and crash into your mother-in-law's house? Oh my goodness! It's on purpose. I've had my share of crazy women, you know. Yeah. I've had, uh, I've told Jim an incident with um, my son's mom. Now, what happened? We don't live together anymore. She lives in Philly. I live in New Jersey, Woodbridge, or whatever. She came to my house. She made copies of keys to my apartment. Came in, bashed up my HD TV. Oof. HD, 42 inch. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> smashed it. And you know, with HD, you watch everything on it. You know? Yeah. She smashed it up, took my computer, put it in a tub of water. <laughs> and then she, she thought about this. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Just then she bashed up my Miss Pac Man mini. I got a Miss Pac Man mini arcade game. She bashed it up. And the thing about it, before she did it, she played it first and beat my high score. <laughs> like that bitch. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I, I went in and got a bunch of my stuff out beforehand, like my computer and stuff. Oh, you have a crazy woman? It, it was a d divorce. Yeah, I, I was married for like nine years. Wow. Uh, oh, believe me, the listeners know. <laughs> they, they hear my misery usually. But I went in and grabbed right everything. Trust me. But uh, the stuff I left, and I left some stuff, you know, that kind of uh, some radio awards that Opie and I had won over the years, you know, irreplaceable things like that. Um, she had a big fire in the fireplace one night and just burnt everything. <laughs> Pictures, my fucking clothes what went into the fucking twat. like goodwill. All I know is I was driving around Huntington once and saw some homeless guy in a WAAF jacket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you got to realize, though, when you look oh, at it, it's a... your fault. Dude. We don't look. I'm going to tell you why. But wait, let me, because uh, I mean, you just can't pass that over. Like, the, the money this guy is paying now, it's like, right. fucking, at the very least, give him his fucking stuff back. No, no, no. And she, knew, and she knew back then at that point that, you know, she had fucking paid her. Yeah. A woman just don't turn crazy. We see the signs and we ignore them. Yeah. So before you, we just brush over them. Like my son's mom, we were together for a long time. But I I seen the signs. Back I back saw the signs before I said I do, and exactly. I still fucking did it. <laughs> you still Asshole. did it. Because once you mess with a crazy woman, there's no way to get rid of her. You can't just yell at a crazy woman and say stop being crazy. They're going to be crazy continuously. <laughs> be crazy. Yeah, they're just going to be crazy. <laughs> Only thing to stop them is a kick in the twat. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Like Dracula has one. Uh, <laughs> the steak in the part of the mirror. A kick in the twat. Is the Only thing to stop a crazy woman. <laughs> I right. never had a, a physical confrontation with the woman I've dated. I've never had a, 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 like a physical thing with a girl I've Because most of them are prostitutes. They just get yeah. their money and leave. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> They're dating when I see more than an hour and a half. Jimmy's got a girlfriend now. Oh, I've had a girlfriend. That's right, that's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, here's uh, the rest of the story. So she uh, drags the kids and She's taken, ladies. Uh, <laughs> drags uh, the kids into bed with her husband, and now she's going to light everybody on fire. What Light made her do this? Fire. Let's try to find out. Set them on fire. No idea. No motive. Mr. Lee was inside the family's townhouse where the attempted murder took place. He wouldn't answer the door. Earlier, at the entrance of this gated community, 
over the speakerphone, he told me what happened is his business and nobody else's. Well, it might oh. be the police department's business. They're still alive? Yeah. She didn't get it done. She couldn't get the job done? Oh. Well, she, asked him, she woke up and asked him for a match. You will have a match? I need a writer. Not only that, it gets more interesting. The husband uh, starts helping out the wife here. Last night, he told our reporter Susie Saw that he didn't want to go on camera or talk about it. According to the evidence, Mrs. Lee had a lighter in one hand, the kind that's very long that she used to light a barbecue, and a piece of paper rolled up like a torch in her other hand. She actually lit the paper and was about to throw it onto her sleeping family when her husband suddenly woke up. There's a struggle uh, in the in the bedroom, and the lighter's broken. Somehow the fire's extinguished, and he's able to subdue her, and then we arrived. Does he, Nanny calls 911? Exactly. On the call, which police will not release, the husband says only that his wife tried to kill herself. Nothing about trying to light the entire family on fire. When police arrived, they pieced it together. Lighter fluid on all members of the family, all in the same bedroom. The broken lighter and the burnt piece of paper. This guy's got to cut his losses. What is he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you, are you crazy? Wow. Crazy cut woman. Cut your fucking you losses. Let it go. Very dishonorable. Let them take her away. <laughs> she I want to hear the 911 call. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> wife, she go crazy. <laughs> like a... that, that's not my wife. That's not my wife. Patient of the body snatchers. Uh, I sound like a fucking flock of birds. <laughs> <laughs> Randy needs an address. What email address do we send a news story to? I, I'm assuming it's uh, for story of the month. Uh, Would that be to Steve? Actually, news stories and dick pictures all go to Steve at foundrymusic.com. Right. That's right. F O U N D R Y music.com. That address should be up on opianthony.com. Also, send them to Danny at foundrymusic.com. Yes. Most Dick. Danny. Uncut. Danny. Send them to Danny. Mostly. Harry Potter type uh, cock pictures. That's right. With preferably the mouth of another gentleman in the vicinity. <laughs> foundrymusic.com. <laughs> Danny at foundrymusic.com. Dick pictures to Elo. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the rest of the story. When police and detectives arrived on the scene yesterday morning, Mrs. Lee was still in the house, and there was no sign whatsoever that she had doused herself with lighter fluid, no evidence whatsoever that she intended to kill herself. Again, she'll be arraigned tomorrow on four counts of attempted murder. Just a fucking... How do wow. you not beat her to death as the husband? Maybe that's uh, well, what he wants to do. He, he probably does, but it's the kids. He's worried about the kids, and, you know, he's not going to do anything to her. I've never seen it. But see, Asians, you they're don't see them private. on all these. Yeah, they're very private. Very you never private see Asians people. on Maury Povich paternity No, tests. no. Nothing. Dude. Yelling about everything. You're right, you know? <laughs> Holy shit. You don't. They don't like spreading their shit around. No, they they take quiet. care of it in their own little their community own little and way. their own house. Like, he probably will just... Beat the fuck out of her. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like, don't yeah. worry about don't it. Don't worry. I don't, don't care. Yeah, she, dude, she tried to light you and the family on fire. Yeah, we got something for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, this ain't the, like they probably have some fucking scroll. What you do when your wife tries to light you and the fucking husband on fire. And you just got to beat the shit out of her and bind her feet. <laughs> with something the Chinese like torture. With, with the water just dropped. Yeah, Chinese head. water torture. <laughs> Start with Chinese water torture. Bind her feet. <laughs> they use duck sauce now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're pre cum. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Shwiggy. Shwiggy! Hey, b -b -b boys. What's, What's that? Shwiggy? Story of the story, possible story of the month. Okay. Two sixth graders having sex in class in front of everybody. Wow. What? We got that story yet? Go to Drudge on the left hand side. Good old Drudge. I think this is just hot, really. Just because it's on Drudge <laughs> doesn't mean it's true. Drudge gets No, no, no. It's been confirmed by the school district. Uh, Channel 13 investigates school district. Sixth graders had sex in class. Sixth graders, not six-year-olds. Did you say sixth graders? Sixth graders. Oh, you did. All right. Uh, for months, it's been a well-kept secret, but now Warren Township schools confirm a disturbing case of sex in the classroom. Thir 13 investigates uh, was tipped off by a disturbed resident who writes, during school hours in a classroom with an experienced teacher present, two sixth graders com completed the act of intercourse. At least 10 students were witnesses. No discipl uh, disciplinary actions were taken against the teacher. All teachers were told to keep quiet. What the fuck is going on here? The teacher allowed this to happen? What a good teacher. Warren yeah, Township Associate yeah, Superintendent Jeff Swenson confirmed nice it's teacher. true. It's been kept under wraps since November. 
How do you keep that? Keep our two kids were fucking while the teacher watched. Keep it under your hat. And ten kids are watching. Yeah. But middle what was the teacher doing while she was watching? Jerking off. They're <laughs> saying middle school students ha having sex in a busy classroom while a teacher is present is true. Two students were involved in inappropriate conduct <laughs> in a lab class last semester. We have investigated oh, the matter it was a lab. and taken appropriate action. The school corporation uh, considers the matter closed and will have no further comment. Oh, the teacher didn't know what was going on. It was no, the teacher didn't know what was going on. Oh, okay. Caught it and broke it up. The what? Teacher caught them and broke it up. How does that like? Wait, wait, wait. How, how does the teacher happen? not know it's happening? It's how do you start fucking and? Probably behind, I'm guessing it was behind behind one of those. Yeah, wait, things. Wait, wait. labs that, are built kind of weird. That's the Bunsen really? burners yeah. on. <laughs> what does she think they're working on? Frogs? <laughs> uh, are you yeah. reading the story from Drudge directly? Uh, no. Oh, uh, okay. If you read the story from directly from Drudge, it goes into details that the kids were on lookout. Yeah, yeah. there's a lookout that uh, was helping in uh, the car. Nah, nah, see? I'm on the lookout. <laughs> Cheese it, the cops. <laughs> a lookout. <laughs> a lookout in class. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nah, nah. I don't know if it's story of the month, but it's definitely a good one. Yeah, man. it's uh, just one to jerk off to. I mean, it's, it's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> Six race. Yeah, All right, thank you. What a goer she is. He's always good for one, though. All right, very good. Are we done with the, the fire thing? Oh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, no. What's the matter, Oprah? He can't get the disc out of the um, no. player. Well, w why don't we get fucking E-Rock or Than here? No. Hey, we had something we were going to do once we got here. What was that? I'm trying to remember. The FCC thing. <gasps> yeah, that was it. No, that was for tomorrow. Yeah, Shit. You promised that. What? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We have other stuff we could do. Oh, I know what we're going to oh. do. Oh. I know what we're going to do. We have better stuff. What? Do. What? Fuck each other in the butt. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the teacher see. <laughs> Jeez, is a lookout. Uh, that sucks to be the lookout. You don't even get to watch the fucking. Yeah. We, well, you know, we had a teacher in seventh grade. We, uh, boy, I hate to even say I may get arrested. I don't know the statute of limitations. So we sexually assaulted a girl. Kevin, all right. She's and, a... <laughs> in seventh grade. Wow. Clothes off. Right. Everything happened. We actually went through the petition through the other side to another class. We was uh, just on this girl. Kevin. The whole class was suspended. But the that, girl, that's the, it. The teacher. Yeah, that's it. That's all you get back then. A suspension. Wow. You guys we, gang raped her and just got a suspension? Well, I don't like to use the word rape, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you guys I, gang tickled her? I prefer her? to say the R word. Yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about Keith, people don't understand. He really is a piece of shit. He is a ghoul. <laughs> he, he comes off as nice because he's like, he has a good sense of humor and he's laughing, and he's, but he is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we went through it. It was just, it was brutal. But no she was shit. laughing. As long as she was laughing, it was Oh, she great. was laughing? <laughs> she, laughed, she was laughing so hard she was crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was some tears, but we thought it was... Holy <laughs> crap. Yeah, it was... How many guys? It was like about ten. Ten? Did yeah. they all get the... What, we we were just ripping stuff and grabbing and all sort of stuff happened. Did anyone, like, stick it in, or...? I think I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, did you stick it in? Uh, just in case. <laughs> a little, no. little, maybe a little. Statue of Limitations for Rape is like seven years or whatever like that. It's not, it's not 30. How old were you? Were, you what grade were you in? Seventh grade? Seventh grade. 35 uh, years ago. <laughs> oh, I was going to say if you was in seventh grade, then you know, it was, seventh it was grade. 19 years old. It was fun back then. <laughs> that was the joke, Jimmy. I think, uh, I, think, I think in New York there is no statute of limitations. Maybe now rape. there's not because of DNA, but that's been changed. Yeah. We'll let it go. You leave any DNA, DNA behind? <laughs> no. I nah, you're fine. Any <laughs> evidence? Don't even worry, don't even worry about it. Did she go to the po police or the hospital? No, she just went home and, you know. Oh, okay. Girl named Kim. Hey, back then it was different. They just wiped the pussy off and finished yeah, the homework. Women were tougher back then. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's save uh, Keith some jail Holy time. Shit. Yeah. I'm joking, man. <laughs> yeah. They actually were. They were I really was only <laughs> joking. <laughs> Let's save uh, Keith some jail time and move on. Keith Robinson's going to be at a casino. Uh, Catch a rising storm. Catch probably a rising storm. Yeah, yes. number? No. no, of course. Why would I? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Keith is the worst Why plumber. would I? <laughs> so Keith is uh, tonight. This is that's tomorrow night, Wednesday night in Providence, and uh, for Thursday through Sunday, I'll be in Pittsburgh at the Improv. So he's, if you're in Pittsburgh, he's a good plugger when it comes with ten other guys and an innocent girl <laughs> in a room no, <laughs> uh, he's a, during a boring science Jesus. class. Jesus. Florentine had good train stories about Keith. Just what a piece of shit he was on the train. How mean <laughs> he was to girls. The guy's fucking brutal. He just grabs her hair and fucking yells at him. <laughs> 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 
I read a Keith Robinson shit. tweet last night, speaking Ooh. of which. Uh, yes. What did he say? He's something about... Uh, yeah, he's pro Trayvon Martin. That's pretty yeah, obvious. Well, yeah? Oh, yeah. What was his tweet? Could you find Keith Robinson real fast? Very interesting. Yeah, I, I started following him. I didn't realize I didn't follow Keith on Twitter. I, I don't know if he's like, oh, yeah, I got to follow Keith. And uh, the, motive, the motives of support are... are what was really his last tweet? Unless, well, he probably tweeted since yeah. I, I read it. <laughs> uh, Take my vibe, give me a yeah. swirl. I need another swirl. Yeah, yeah, go down a little bit. Where was it? Time a bit. George Zimmerman, motherfucking razor. <laughs> I didn't see that. I don't know if I follow him. I'm going to have to fucking. Well, I would like to get his take on it. motherfucker. Because a lot of people were asking uh, after. Oh, yeah, okay. George Zimmerman, the only thing worse than an asshole cop is an asshole who thinks he's a cop. <laughs> Watching his dumb face on. Headline news. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. Full of facts and uh, <laughs> accurate uh, yeah. depiction. Yeah, well, I would love to get him on the phone <laughs> and talk <laughs> to him about it. Keith is from uh, apparently a very rough area in Philly. It's not a surprise to me. That he's no, no, I, I, he takes. exactly. But this is the type of one where we would spend if I was like not getting up in the morning hours uh, at this. This right. ten years ago would have been <laughs> a three in the morning or every night at the cellar. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, with Patrice and all. Oh, oh my. God, fucking, right? Yes. Uh, would have been. I would have had to. I would have fucking begged Nick DiPaolo to stay. Yeah, so yeah. I had Somebody to argue with my side. <laughs> <laughs> Got Keith Robinson on the line. Oh. Ah. Yo, Keith. What's up, man? Hey, buddy. Did we wake you up? No, you know what? I was. I was watching Weird Science. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one to pop on early weird in the morning. Science. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so. Uh, well, um, I read your tweet about uh, George Zimmerman last night. And yeah, he bugs me. That guy bugs me. He bugs me. <laughs> I understand. And um, we, we had uh, his brother on our show yesterday. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> kind of going over, you know. And, the, uh, and the, it's very uh, passionate about this case, extremely passionate, and he sees it uh, George Zimmerman's way. Well, I'm, I'm kind of. I, 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 I've been looking at uh, really pawing through the uh, the uh, evidence uh, that's going to be presented in court, and you know what's out there already. I'm sure there's other stuff that we haven't seen yet, but I, I was just. Uh, but but why does he bug you? I loved <laughs> your tweet. Why does he bug me? First of all, no. Here's the first thing. Yeah. No man would even admit that's a real man. That I, I was the guy screaming in that uh in that 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 tape. That now it was me that was screaming. Who does that? Who does that? Goes. I was the guy that was screaming. It wasn't a seventeen year old. It was me. <laughs> that's some bugs on my. He's bitch made. I can't stand him. He's a bitch made dude. I hope his brother's listening. Your brother is a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love it. Uh, we kind of needed you yesterday, Keith. Now, it was now, very one sided oh, yesterday. Why can I be that? Now, that's, that's to show you who he is. His fat, stupid face <laughs> bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, uh, uh, taking away the the he's a bitch and his face bugs you and and his screaming, uh, uh, like purely based on on evidence wise, do you think he's going to uh, be acquitted or or convicted? Be uh, I think evidence wise, well, yeah, yes, I do think he probably will be acquitted because people don't look at things how they're supposed to look at. It. This guy had no business following this kid. Now, he really didn't follow him, if you look at the uh, the evidence in the 911 call. When, when the 911 operator said, um, are you following him? He said, yes. The operator then said, we don't need you to do that. And he said, okay. And, and there was no more following. Uh, well, the see, here you go. Uh -huh. Do you believe that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know why? Because every bit of evidence uh, supports that. Where he was um, at the time, uh, he was still on the phone with the 911 operator. There wasn't any sign uh, during the rest of that phone call that he was in pursuit of anybody. But well, here you go. Yeah. Think about it. How did he get attacked, and why did he get attacked? Well, that's just he had it. To do something to get attacked. Well, he, I, I, it looks to me that uh, that Trayvon did not like that this motherfucker was eyeballing him, uh, and you he, could hear. He couldn't see. See, now you got to know. Now I got to take you through a journey 
of a black guy walking from a white guy. Let's go through this journey. All right, Hispanic guy. Come right, on, come down. <laughs> white Hispanic. And white I'm Hispanic. I'm going to take you guys like I'm going a, I'm to a profile this whole case. Okay. All right, I'm walking to a neighborhood, right? I'm going to a neighborhood, and I, it ain't just eyeball. How am I going to eyeball a guy that I don't even, if he's not following me? I'm looking... Now, I'm nervous because I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing? First of all, i got to recognize that he's following me. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. i got to go, wait a minute, is this guy following me? And I'm walking. I think this son of a bitch is following me. I was walking through the Washington Square Park, and I'm on the phone. This is a true story. And the guy, I said, I told the girl on the phone, I said, look, this guy said he's following me. And he was walking, just walking right by. So I took my belt off, had a belt. Wrap it around my hand. I turned it to the guy. This guy stumbled all the way through the park. He was following me. So in order for me to even think about attacking you, I got to understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Brayvon wasn't the pursuer. He wasn't the aggressive one in this situation. <clears throat> George Zimmerman was. But he was just looking. He was watching uh, to see if the, he was up to any shenanigans. Oh, you know what? Come on, guys. You're not that naive. No, he was I, just watching. He can watch from his house. Nah, you drive around. The neighborhood had had break-ins uh, before, and if you want to do some profiling, perhaps he was profiling who's been breaking into the fucking houses. Well, <laughs> see, but you do some profiling by call, call the police. That's their job. What he did. did. You think he he did. absolutely he did call the. the he was on the phone with the cops or with the the nine one one operator. Then, then how did if he if he was that guy that you think he is? How did he get his ass whooped? If he just follow him in his car, what the guy open his car door and go? Come on out the car. I'm about to whoop your ass. Well, here's the deal. When he was talking to the nine one one operator and she said we don't need you to do that, he said okay. He was walking back to his vehicle and that's when Trayvon right. Trayvon. Uh, ran at him and punched him in the face and started Wait, is, beating is, is his... Is this the white guy in the suburbs version of it? Beating his face. <laughs> this, well, let me tell you something. The white guy's suburb version is what, the one that's going to be presented in court. I, I'll be honest. That's the one part of it that I've had a big problem with was how, if Zimmerman was outside, I mm. could almost believe he turned around and went back to the car. My big problem has been how did Trayvon Martin get to him without him seeing it coming like if he if he lost him and he couldn't find him like hey where is this guy mm -hmm. and was going back to his car how did Trayvon run up on him from however many feet away that's always been the problem I had with it is that part right there well you, you you'd have to look at the layout of where they were right. there's a, a, he lost um, he lost track of where Trayvon was he didn't have an eye on him the whole time because he stopped following him when the 911 operator you said stop can't believe that listen to me if you yeah. ever been followed take it from an expert in being followed <laughs> in uh, chinese stores <laughs> and, 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 wherever i've been i've been followed so i understand the whole uh, uh, sequence of what goes on when you're being followed yeah. when you're being followed this kid had to be nervous he's by himself he don't know this dude yeah, but He's nervous and judging by George Zimmer, 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 whatever his name is, <laughs> his character. He, he's the kind of guy that had to say something to provoke this kid. So mm. it, it doesn't make any sense that uh, this teenage kid walking at night by himself is that dude that he would just attack him for no reason. Mm, I, you know, he, I, as far as what's being presented, see, that's why I say what's being presented, the evidence, the statements, the witnesses, the 911 call, that's what I'm talking about. Not, hmm, that guy seems like the kind of guy that would do this. They don't want to fucking hear that in court. This no, is, no, no, but I, I'm just trying to tell you I, realistically. I, absolutely. I hear what you're saying. The, the, you could speculate a, a, a lot as to what might have happened. A, a lot of hypotheticals. But... Uh, unfortunately for the uh, Martin family, uh, Trayvon isn't going to get to stand up and tell his side of what happened. Uh, forensic, right. forensic evidence of his body, where it is, what's on it, his knuckles, Zimmerman's face, uh, the, the proximity of the gun when the gun went off. All that tells a story, too. But 
What is being presented in court is George Zimmerman's statement to the police, the police's investigation on scene right after it happened, witness oh, testimony. The police that uh, let him go at first? <laughs> well, that's just it. The cops aren't just going to pat him on the back and let him go. There was no evidence on the scene at that night that led the cops to believe anything more than this was a self-defense shooting. Listen, all the thing, only thing that uh, Zimmerman had to say, there was a black guy walking through. Good enough for us. <laughs> Come on. That's all, yeah, this isn't honest. fucking Selma. Let's get real here for a second. It's 2013. The president's black. The president's black for the love of Christ. Ah, Dad, did you take that ass? That's your thing? That's your new car? That's my new fucking car. I'm fucking, I'm running with it, Keith. That's my fucking cause. I'm running. Are you going to play the president's black card? I'm playing the president's black card. The president's Black. He's a he's a white black though. If you want to call Zimmerman a white Hispanic, the president's a white black. He's a white black. He's a white black. <laughs> hey, who is following you? Black still equals one thing: a black. Right. <laughs> who who was following you in the park that night? Do you do you know or know what happened? I don't know who it was. They they were just walking right and just kept walking and walking. I just tried to I turned right into this mm. guy and he was shocked. And I because I you know that's what you do at first when somebody's following you. You first think. Is he following me? Because you're not sure about it. Yeah. I, I'll if sure I feel like some if I feel like someone's following me, I'll step off to the side a little bit, turn so I got an eye on him, and watch them pass me by. I, I'll fucking you know right. I'll wait and wait till these motherfuckers get past me. Right, but when I I was doing that, I was doing that, <laughs> and every time I would stop a little bit, they would stop. Yeah, you got your peripheral too. Yeah. And every time I, but then I just got tired of the following, and I just stopped, went right into him, and he just stumbled into the whole thing. <laughs> it, 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 it's just like this. You got to realize this. It's like Zimmerman shows you all the traits of a guy who's who's overstepping his authority, and and, and it's like if he if you're walking, this is remember remember now this is a 17 year old kid. Mm. So people don't look at that because he's six foot whatever. He's tall and then he's six foot. He's a, he's a gangster. That's what they, that's what they're putting out. How is he 17 years old? My son at that time was 17. He's not a gangster. He can fight, but he's not a gangster. Yeah, yeah. Well, they all try to be. Right. But he's not. He's a kid. Well, and that's what I think people are missing more than anything. He's still a kid. Well, there's some kids that you could pop up on uh, various uh, crimes uh, that uh, right. are pretty fucking ruthless, to be honest right, with right. you. Right. I, I, I a 17 year old, too. a 17 year old kid shot a fucking baby in the face in a stroller. That was, you know, I, oh, I the poor that. kid, you I know. I do get that, but that's the images that. You can have in your head that and, and go with smashing over this guy, but Zimmerman is the guy at fault. And if it was my son, there wouldn't be no trial. It mm. wouldn't be no did who did this, who did what. I would see Zimmerman. <laughs> well, and obviously there'd be a personal vested I interest. No damn evidence. My evidence is my foot in Zimmerman's ass. <laughs> there is a, well, there would be a personal interest that you would have in that. And, of course, you know, anybody that would lose a child would want to fucking put their foot in his ass. I hear right. you. But you. But let me say, as a, as a, I don't know who has kids there, but if you have kids, nobody's taking that. I have a kid. This guy had no business following this guy. He, he had no business he, 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 You can't say no business. If he's doing the neighborhood watch and he's he, and there's been break-ins and he sees uh, somebody that does fit the fucking profile of people that have been breaking into houses. A black he, guy with a hoodie? Yes! Yes! I'm sorry, but that's who's fucking breaking in. If you want to, then put on a fucking goddamn Farrakhan bow tie and suit and walk through the neighborhood like that and no one will fuck with you. If you want to fucking walk through and look exactly like the people that break into the houses, you're gonna get fucking looked at.
You're going to get fucking right. looked at. Do you believe there's a certain way you have to dress? Yes, sorry. White folks don't and, change and, don't, and don't blame the white folks. <laughs> Why blame all you saying is face white face and just walk through? And, well, that, that might have helped, too. <laughs> blame every still from every closed circuit television in every convenience store that's been robbed. Blame that, then. Because every time, it's a black guy with a hoodie pulled up over his face robbing someone. It's that's the right. fucking that's uniform. Um, hoodies to white guys. It's the no, no the, a lot of black guys in hoodies are robbing people. A lot of black guys in hoodies are doing the uh, the robbing. It's when just you, when you take that stance on it, that's what makes it bad. No, it's makes, what makes it. Why can't people be honest and right, say if honest, if you're dressed like right? a fucking thug in a neighborhood but where people are robbing right? houses? You think they made hoodie, you think the hoods made funny? The hoodie, uh, hood, hood, the hood guys made hoodies. Hood guys don't make hoodies. Hoodies are just hoodies. Hoodies are hoodies, but players wear hoodies. But here's every if you if you turn on the police scanner for Chicago on any weekend, you will hear black male wearing a hoodie a thousand fucking times, a thousand times uh, in one if night. You turn on a, if you turn on a police scanner anywhere, you'll just hear black guy walking. <laughs> guy no, breathing. that's not black true. I just walk into McDonald's. That's nothing new. I've listen. That's I've listened. You can chase down black guys randomly because that's what you hear. No, it's not just black guy walking. It's shots fired, suspect running. He's described as a black male wearing dark clothing, a black hoodie. It's it, This is what... You, you know how many times I've been stopped because of that? Yeah, well, stop fucking, you know what? Stop what? Blame, no, blame the people that are ruining that fucking look for you then. If you want to, if I want to walk around a, a, a neighborhood where there's been a lot of bank robberies and my fashion statement is to wear a stocking over my face, I might get Nobody's stopped. wearing a stocking over their face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to just make a point. I understand. But if I'm walking around wearing... Uh, what what amounts to be the uniform of a fucking armed robber? Uh, I'm gonna get stopped. I gotta jump. It, it, it's it's also the you know I'll say this about like a hoodie though. Yeah. Every high school jock yes. wears a hoodie, but that that's one of those things where there's a lot of people that wear them that are doing. But that's also the uniform of every teenager doing anything. I, I understand that the guys committing crimes wear them and they're in yes, police descriptions. I understand. But it's not a piece of clothing that is specific to fucking up. Like, no, more but, people wearing hoodies are doing nothing wrong, a lot more, than are doing something I'm not wrong. saying everyone that's wearing a hoodie is, is a suspect, but I'm saying a lot of suspects are wearing hoodies. No, but it, it's a backwards... With a hoodie. It's a backwards thing. I said that. It's not that everybody wearing hoodies is a suspect, but a a lot of suspects in robberies uh, uh, and break-ins wear hoodies. But that's like saying blue jeans. Like if a guy's walking through a neighborhood with jeans on, yeah. like his hoodies and jeans. Are, mm. It's such a nondescript mm. piece of clothing. Mm. It is. It's just something you wear when you're, you're cold and you keep your hood up. Yeah, you're cold. It could be raining. I, under I understand. I understand. Look, I'm not saying this is something that's great, and uh, and uh, but I'm just being honest here. This is a look. But that you know, is honestly, is now Donald, suspect. Honestly, God, I to put it in the other thing when a uh, DC sniper was doing it. Uh -huh. What he was looking for was white guys. Yeah. So they decided to pull. So they, that fits the profile. Riding around all the time with guns out of things, <laughs> they, they would let them go right past. Right, it, it, because the the profile is supposed to be a white guy that does that, and the majority of the times, I'm not saying profiling is 100, percent but. There is an element to profiling. Everyone wants to, you know, even Jimmy was talking, wants to profile George Zimmerman. Let's see what kind of guy he was. Was he overzealous as far as that? Profile, 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 until it goes the other way, where it's like, let's profile this guy and, and see what he was all about. There on, is on this case, though, in this case, George Zimmerman stepped out of pocket. Don't, do not, your, your neighborhood watch don't make you a sheriff. Don't. Don't 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 do, does not give you the right to become a cop. He may this have stepped out of pocket, like you said. He may have stepped out of pocket. But what did may he have. do? What did he do? What do you mean may have? <laughs> well, may have. But what did he do to merit uh, getting his head uh, beaten against the sidewalk and getting his face punched in? He there you go following somebody that he shouldn't have been following. You can't assault someone for following you. 
You can't. No, no, see, but if you believe that this guy just was following him and doing nothing, then then you're crazy. There was, there's and no other phys- there's, but there's no physical evidence that shows that George Zimmerman uh, initiated any physical assault. If if you're being like okay, just like I said, this guy was following me, right? Yeah. Now there could be no uh, uh, physical evidence. It's just me understanding life. <laughs> understanding life. Like, if I sit there, you know what they do at the, 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 the casino in Philly? What they do in the casino in Philly? You win money, they get in that car, they follow you home, they <laughs> rob you of your winning. Yeah. They rob you of your winning. Now, if I'm that stupid to not go, no, when I'm in danger, I look always behind me. I always look behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow so many people. And they wait to maybe they get some gas. They beat the pants off them, and they take their. You don't know when you see somebody walking behind you. You can feel it. It's just it's just something that you go. Wait a minute. All right, ah, huh, boy. Mm-hmm. Zimmerman don't know if he's going to be robbed or what's going on. He, he probably t- he confronted him. I guarantee he confronted. What's going on? Yeah, well, you don't. And, and then, he, then Zimmerman, being a bitch made dude that he is, uh, start uh, got his ass whooped. Good. He, that's mm. what I, my son would know to t- protect yourself at all times. You gotta protect well, yourself. Well, uh, mm-hmm. again, that could be, uh, but that could be. but we, 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 one thing we know, one thing we do know for a fact, mm-hmm. Zimmerman follows this kid. At one point, Follows. yeah, yeah, but but we don't know to what extent. That's just it. Yeah, we, we don't know, know to what extent. What? If you if you real real with yourself and understand how things, work, we do know to what extent. This guy just didn't turn around and and, and, and just run after a guy that's that's not doing anything. Ah, uh, he 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 might have not liked the way Zimmerman was eyeing him up, and he might have felt threatened and 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 overstepped his bounds by lunging out and just punching Zimmerman in the face uh, because he did have kind of a penchant for fighting. Uh, he he was in trouble in school for fighting. He got in trouble. Uh, he got suspended for uh, uh, having an altercation with the bus driver fighting. Uh, this this kid liked fighting. It, it might have been. You know, I I think it it might have been something like that where he saw Zimmerman following him and then maybe he got annoyed. And like you know how you turned around in the park, he may have turned around and went, "This fat fuck is what do you want?" And then just belted him because he was annoyed. At him. I mean, that's yeah. Possible. He just got fatter. Zimmerman got fatter all of a sudden, like they like they take mercy on fat guys. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a defensive? Pl- you think it's a defensive ploy that he's <laughs> just a fun-loving roly-poly guy that's just all right. Get out of here, you. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I, I don't think we're going to change each other's minds, but... Uh, no, I'm going to take you through a journey, and you're going to walk around, and we're going to get followed, and you're going to see how that feels. I know how that feels. I've been followed. I don't think followed. you've never been followed. No, no, I, 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 abs- fucking, no, I have absolutely been followed, and it's very uncomfortable. It's a very <laughs> uncomfortable fucking feeling. Uh, but I try to get myself out of it immediately. Yeah. I, I, I turn around... I, I step aside. I look. I'm always aware of my surroundings and and who's coming up on me and stuff. So I do walk. I let them pass by. If I see an inkling that somebody was following me and it wasn't just my paranoia, I try everything I can do to get myself out of that situation. So Trayvon should have ran away. Trayvon should have run to his fucking dad's house where you know Keith he would have watched the rest of the game and eaten his fucking skittles. But, but Keith, should Trayvon have run like away? That. Should he have run away? Right? It's like this, so It's like I almost got robbed outside of a check cash in place. Yeah. We take you to another journey. Now, <laughs> they were looking journey. at me. Yeah. They, were, they had me dead to right because I had my envelope, my thumb envelope with the money in my hand. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. These guys whispering. I look. Guess what? I went right in the midst of them. What's going on? <clears throat> oh, wait, hey, oh, yeah, yeah. You're fucking diffused. Yes, you, you know what I mean. So there, there, there's a lot of different techniques. Uh-huh. <laughs> you're not, you're, 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 you're not that common. Like you're, you're also the guy that when a fucking the hooker you called wasn't the one you called, and she said, "Give me the money, I'm going to get my boyfriend." You said, "Go get him." <laughs> <laughs> Wow. wow. Those stories never cease. Like, I'm just... <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah. Uh, shit. Holy fuck. Yeah, it is what it is. Keith, no, don't man. play, man. No. Yeah, yeah. If, you don't play. 
you go through that store, you go, anybody will tell you. That's anybody. Because there's guys that will rob you on the street. They uh-huh. start to follow you first to see where you of are. Of course. Is, see where you're at. Feel and you then, out. Are you going to give them trouble? Right. Right. And they're going to see how much trouble you're going to be, whatever it is. So I understand this young fella walking through the street who hasn't had that much experience like that. that no matter how, every kid had a couple of fights in high school. So, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like, how many, how much trouble, what's going on? This guy was running through his mind. Why is this guy following it? That's intense, an intense moment. Exactly. I, I, I'm learning a lot here today. I got to jump in for a second, Keith. Uh, in the black culture, like, why why wouldn't you guys just run away? Like, I I, I know enough white people where if we're in a situation, hold on, if we're in a situation like that, I know nine out of ten times we're running the fuck away. No, but that's not that's not everybody. Everybody's not built like that. Mm. But it seems like in the black culture, more more guys would stand their ground for whatever reason. Like I don't understand. I, I, well, I what about that then? How about the stand your ground law? <laughs> <laughs> And he beat the shit out of Zimmerman, and I would love it. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, I don't think stand ground applies to people following you. There just seems it's, to be uh, less fear in those situations. I just know. But see what you did? I I brought you to that. You said, "Why wouldn't you just run away? Yeah. Why would you stand your ground?" But then when you then when it works for that, you go, "No, it's not stand your ground in that situation." Well, right. what is it? But it isn't. You can't. There's no following someone, regardless if he was following him or not. Uh, uh, taking this case out of it completely. Following someone in and of itself is not a, 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 a crime. It's not even a situation where you are then entitled to physically assault someone that is following you. Uh, it, look at the paparazzi with celebrities. They can't just, t- and if that isn't fucking a, a definition of stalking, but they cannot turn around and punch the fucking photographer that is literally on their ass the entire time they're walking. You can't punch them. So again, if Zimmerman, even if he was following him and overstepping his bounds and whatever, it does not give anyone the right to then punch him in the face. Uh, okay, Zimmerman wasn't just following him. Zimmerman well, now you're sp- now again you're speculating. No, I'm saying he had a gun on him, right? He, he, he did. Have, he did. Okay, so so what do you think a guy with a gun's intent is? Well, a guy, I, I don't think you understand until you have a, a, a legal gun. Uh, no. it, it's, it, the, the, his intent... Are you suggesting Keith has an illegal wait, wait, gun, sir? Do you honestly what? think his intent <laughs> is to rough up... <laughs> Are you suggesting that here today, well, I'm sir? Suggesting, I'm is, right? suggesting that uh, perhaps... <laughs> no, no, well, no what, what I'm saying, Simmer will... No, just take, go with me through this. Uh-huh. Simmer is in his house. He sees a black guy in a hoodie. He... He, he he pulls up, as they say in uh and uh what's, what's the thing that we love, Jim, on HBO. He tools himself up. Uh, tools uh, himself up. What's that? T- tools up. He tools uh, up. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh, what's the, the HBO series that we love with us? The Wire. Oh, the, the Wire. Wire. Yeah, yeah. He tools himself up. Uh huh. You tool yourself up for a reason. Just go through the mindset of a guy that would do that. Put his gun on and go outside and then follow somebody. What do you think he's? What, what, what do you think his intent is? He was, but he, no, he would. He wasn't in his house. He was driving around because he was a neighborhood watch guy. He's he's there to to watch and see if there's any fucking people that are trying to break into uh, other people's apartments. That, <laughs> that's what his job was that All night. Right. His job. His job description is. To follow a guy with his gun that uh, that he thinks is suspicious. That's his job. Well, to call the cops, which he did. Right. He's done That's it. His major call the cops and sit still and sit where you are and, and then go from there. No, call the cops and keep an eye on him so when the cops do show up. How did he get his ass whooped if, he, if he's driving around? Well, he got out of his car. He was keeping an eye on him while he was Uh-oh. on the phone. Yeah, see, come on. This is what's going to be presented in court. Keith, Keith, but this is what's going to be presented in court. And, and it's backed up by the 911 call where he, he's on the phone with the 911 operator while he's fucking looking and following him at that point. The 911 operator says, we don't need you to do that. And by the way, that was for his safety. Not for the unknown suspect at the time. The unknown subject. I want to say suspect. Uh, but Trayvon at that point was an unknown subject. And, and the 911 operator didn't tell him, we don't need you to do that to protect the unknown subject. It's, look, we don't need you to be following someone and get your fucking ass handed to you. So wait for the cops. He says, okay, stops following him. And then the next thing we know, 
uh, his head's being bashed and he's being punched. We don't know exactly what transpired there because there's no witnesses and there's George Zimmerman's statement. Now, what well, you want to take your white logic out of it, and I'm going <laughs> to remove our black and white logic. All right, and we could just go to real logic. <laughs> if he's in his car, uh -huh. right? How the hell are you going to get your head bashed against anything in your car? Well, he wasn't in the car at that point. He, 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 he got out of his car. For what? To see where Trayvon was going so when the cops got there, he could go. He went that away. What did I just say? Didn't I just say take that white logic out of it? <laughs> but, that's, but that's the fucking, that's what happened. That's he the testimony. The no, you gave him a reason that, why he did it. He got out of his car to be the jackass that he is, and he had that gun confidence. That's why he got out of the car because he had gun confidence. I that I agree with. I think I, again, not that I don't think that George Sherman uh -huh. set out to shoot him, but I do think he got out because we talked about this. I don't think you get on the phone with with uh, the police uh, when you expect to go and roust someone with a gun. I'm not saying he was going to roust him, but he did have confidence because of of the weapon. I, I do believe that. Okay, all right. I'll give you that. Well, I was wondering, you think you'd get out of the car, you know, with uh, just a, 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 a handkerchief? <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping that, uh, where, where you going at? Come well, on, he had to say something to this kid. He, well, you know what? That isn't going to be in court. That he had to say something, no, or he said saying, something. Just, I, I understand. I understand that there's a court right now. There's a lot. The O and A show. <laughs> I understand, but that's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to present this in a very unemotional way. What I've noticed from a lot of black guys and uh, black uh, chicks that that tweet about this case and and want to discuss it is that it is pure racial emotion coming through um, on both sides with with very limited factual information I'm just trying to stick to what is going to be heard and and uh, how a jury is going to look at uh, what they're presented not what might have happened not what he was like uh, or what he was thinking why he was out of the vehicle all that stuff is going to come into play but you got to take that emotion out of it I just told you I removed my black emotion but you you're know, incapable your white emotion. you're incapable of removing your black emotion <laughs> <laughs> you may have a point we gotta hang out and have a, have a swirl or two uh, Keith I'm going to watch weird science again damn it <laughs> all right man I'll see you later man <laughs> Keith thanks for the great phone call man take it easy Keith Robinson everyone where, where, you got a plug Keith uh, what, yeah, my plug is, uh, what's my plug? Uh, no, no plug. I ain't got no plug. Oh, <laughs> damn. Fuck. All right, see it. Uh, you know, All right, Keith. One thing out there. One Keith Robinson. One Keith. I'm following Keith, so. I got to fucking you pop can, him up, yeah. Yeah, you can check my the people I'm following, and Keith, I, I just, I didn't realize I wasn't following you, and I saw your tweet, and I'm like, fuck, yeah, I so. saw it last night. Well, don't man. follow him. He'll fucking punch you. Oh, I know. <laughs> Keith, 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 Keith punches you if you follow him at the cellar. It's <laughs> too low, man. I think that Twitter's going to be connected to whether you can even get a health care. <laughs> 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 let's get Keith Robinson's numbers up today, man. <laughs> my numbers up. Yeah, let's get them up. All right, see, All right, thanks a lot, guys. See you, man. Uh, Keith Robinson. It, it was funny when Keith <laughs> said that. See, the funny. fucking guy should be calling us. Yeah, he's good, man. I love Keith. Keith brought up a, a great point on the way in. Huh. It's so funny. Fucking cold outside. That people are just cursing to themselves. Yeah, they are. we were on the elevator, and there's people you don't know on the elevator, and you walk in because you're just out of the cold, and you just stand there going, "Fuck, <laughs> shit, <laughs> fuck, this fucking shit." And that's how people are bonding, actually. Like, yeah, fuck, they yeah, look at each fuck. other. You, yeah, you walk into a building out of a cold spot, you just look at each other and go, "Fuck!" You, you kind of point at the door and go, "Shit!" But people know what you mean. Like, someone will go, "Fuck!" and you go, "I know, I know." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck, shit, <laughs> fuck, shit. <laughs> it's ridiculous out there. Uh, right. I said it was Everest cold out, yeah. and Jimmy had to tell me, you know, it's a hundred mile an hour winds up there, and the temperatures are a lot colder. So Jimmy let me know it was a little colder uh, on Everest than it is outside of New York right now. Well, and then here's what I said, which really sh I should be fucking just cracked across my open mouth. I said that's the cruising altitude of an airplane. Just the fact that I said airplane, that's like a five year old speak. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. What else could be cruising at that? My airplane. Are up there. What, what else cruises at that altitude? Faggots in spacesuits? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs>
<laughs> Watch that F word. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, you're, you're up on the, the, of the F word, right? The new F word, because uh, well, the, the old F word doesn't matter anymore. No, nah, the old we, F word used to be fuck. We Pretty should be calling it everything the new F word. Just be an initial. That <laughs> word, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you'll just be able to have an acronym for people. Uh, he's just an F and are you, F. Are you a fan of banning the N word there, Keith? No. Let's Nigger our... needs to be said. Nigger yeah. can be Thank said. You. It Thank can you. always be said. Yeah. Someone Nigger said, can be said. Faggot does... should be allowed all the time. Someone said it best on our show. I, I would love to give him credit, but they're like, look, you can use the word all you want, but there's a consequence for using it. And, that, and I agree with that. Well, I mean, it, it's, 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 it is a consequence, but Nick, you can say, everybody in here should be able to say nigga. I should be able oh, to say. Oh, we do. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> with the mics on and Usually off. Usually in my car. <laughs> I would like it for to be when the mics are off, but you guys just let it sail. Look, there are, there are consequences. When I saw you in the elevator with us, something <laughs> came out. I didn't know uh, hey. the uh, was coming by hey. today. <laughs> do you love Ann Coulter? I love her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I and love she that she's not taking any, any shit about and it. And she won't apologize. Yeah. You have to love Ann Good. I love her. She's still goofing on it. Going, yeah, <laughs> whatever. I said it. Go fuck yourself. A big man neck. You do have to love her yeah. fucking ignorance. Big Adam Zappel go, gulp. Am I in trouble? <laughs> gulp. <laughs> Half a man. <laughs> oh, and everybody's trying to distance himself from her, and she's just yeah. still going. Oh, I love rocking. it. She don't care. It's great. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that uh, whatever you want to use, and some people go, it's un-American. That word should be banned. And it's like you just put those two statements together, <laughs> banning words and un-American. Right, yeah. right. Fucking Constitution. It's the amendment they figured to make the first. It was the most important one. Let's make it number fucking one. And and then they talk about banning words because they're offensive. There's a, a there's no right that says you have the right to not be offended. Well, I don't, I, you know, what's, what's the thing to me, I don't, I want to see, it's like they should have like words, the top words, like the top faggot is coming up. It's almost a... Uh, faggot coming up the charts. Yeah, it's coming up the charts. <laughs> Nigger's still coming Nigger, in as number he's one. He's still holding his top spot, <laughs> but faggot is on his way. <laughs> yeah, faggot's on its way up the charts. A few more big I'm people Casey use that Casey word. We need one more person. Slur. And, one more big and, person to say And faggot. honky hasn't been on the charts oh, in oh, 20 years. Long ago, since the Jefferson. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. yeah, Honky. Honky. No matter how hard you try, you can say it as hard as you want. Yeah. You honkies are getting on my nerves. They'll just laugh. Yeah, well, ah, you guys. I got to be honest. We've always laughed at honky. Yeah. It's just silly. And it's never been used in a, a bad way, except maybe in a, an old Clint Eastwood movie. But it's always been like a funny kind of term to use on the Jeffersons, like you yeah, said. But Jeffersons. even Archie Bunker never said nigger. Yeah. You know? I mean, that was always kind of like, meh. I think Archie Bunker even said the N-word back then. Even he was politically correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think. But now by saying the N-word, you're saying the word. So yes. now they're going to have to ban saying N-word. -word. Yeah, we that. said they're just going to have to go, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, they're trying to ban the word, mm-hmm. Because <laughs> the N-word is now just as bad as a word because yeah. you're just replacing it. <laughs> I want a few more attacks on faggot word. I want to hear faggot more. That's what I want to hear. That'll bring it back I up. I want it up, up the way it's supposed to be. Climate faggot number be. two. Faggot is timeless, man. I love that word. <laughs> it's, it's, We're it's talking about great. it like it's fucking Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, great. it's always going to be on the chart. Oh, it's, it's just it's there. It's a classic. It rolls off your tongue just right. Yeah. You know, give it a whirl. Faggot. Ugh. Faggot. <laughs> faggot. Ugh. It is. It's funny, happy. Like, you faggot. <laughs> Get out of here, yeah. faggot. It works in every way possible. Every way. It's happy, happy and angry. <laughs> yeah. You tell it. You could say it to your friends knowing they're not gay. You just go, stop. Don't be a faggot. Get your keys. We're fucking going out. You, you know what? We In the neighborhood, we can use both words in the same sentence. You faggot ass niggas are getting on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, Look at that. And it means no, no hate speech. No, there whatsoever. nothing hateful could be, about You it. love the person you're saying it to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you could be sad saying that thing, too. Like, you could be going, what's the matter? <laughs> my son's a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's seeing a nigger. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, is that the only two words that are offensive uh, that people right now? No, no uh, one else really. Squaw. Squaw. Squaw is working its way up now, but I don't working think it's got popular support. Yeah, it yeah. Indians do not like the word squaw. That's like an R&B song. It's not pop yet. I know. No, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> laying Nobody low. Cares. It's not a crossover hit yet. <laughs> it's a category that no one cares about. But the Indians have been <laughs> successful with getting teams to change their names, sports teams. 
what they changed no, their name. The Redskins could have Redskins. Well, the Redskins still. <laughs> but like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, a few more like the Redmen. The Redmen changed their Red name. Storm. To, uh, Red Storm. Yeah. The Kansas City Chiefs, like said, you know, uh, no, we're not no, changing. No, sp- <laughs> like pro sports. But uh, yeah, enough money. I agree with the Indians though on this one. I'm not. How do you agree with the Indians because Why? they're the only group that's allowed to be kind of. Car- I heard Even I heard group. them explaining it one time on a talk show, and they weren't. They were just like, look, they're cartooning us. And if you do that with another group, I mean, the Fighting Irish, the Irish just don't care. But Indians kind of have a history in this country of you know mass slaughter and genocide. <laughs> it's you know it, I can kind of I get I get their point on it. Redskins was a term used to pile up Indian bodies. That was what that was a pile of red skins. That was what, how that term came into. I effect. thought it was just their red. Skin. Skin. No, it was like <laughs> no. There's always some horrible story to it. You know where the word history like coffee yeah, pot yeah, came from? <laughs> what the fuck happened? I really am a fucking mood killer uh, for Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh shit, dude! Yeah, the real oh, history gosh. behind the Indians. <laughs> shit, you. Yeah, what the fuck? I just <laughs> want to do my tomahawk <laughs> shot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Jim? There's no history behind the word nigger. No, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's no team called that either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> start one. Yeah, believe. You know the history of the Indians. They were really treated bad. <laughs> um, nigger is great. But oh, when man. they start saying, look, the Jersey niggers lost by eight points tonight, then you'll be correct. You can't name a team how, after black people. But how great would that be if one of the NBA teams decided to change oh, their name? Oh, my man. God. Well, with oh, all the hip-hop uh, artists that bind uh, basketball teams, you may get it. Yeah. Like get it. And the, the swag, you know, wearing just, the shirts, the yeah. team logo. <laughs> just make it N-I-G-G-A-S. The Brooklyn yeah. niggas. Yeah, yeah niggas. Right. Z at the end. Yeah. That right. would be good. nice. By the way, we're having fun, but i got to just acknowledge something. Opie. I, I went to what chew this pen. Don Rickles? Oh, I thought you were going to go, we're, we all love each other here. <laughs> yeah. we're, I, we're having a lot of fun with these words, people. Hockey puck. <laughs> I just uh, went to chew this pen, and it's a uh, pre-chewed pen that someone else chewed because I did not recognize my own chewing. It's probably you. No. Oh, you recognize? What, do you leave a fucking mark yeah, on there that you can you identify? Know when, you know when you're, you, yeah. You just CSI, you, you know, know, know the your bite pattern. <laughs> I, uh, I, I want to puke. Why? Just because maybe someone else had it behind it. You ever smell somebody's like... Oh, smell this. No, I will not. Smell Under it. no circumstance. Why? Intern. Like, smell why? It. Intern, intern in here. Scum. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> just get a... Intern's going to be a word that they were going to... The I word. It's just going to be the I word. <laughs> I like this kid. This is Jeremy from Atlanta. Let's see if we He's can get He's a go-getter. This. He's a good boy. Oh, by the way, uh, someone's reminding us... Uh, you know, we're not going to do the obvious and play Sparkling Wiggles for uh, Keith today, but the definition of the, the N-word, Louis C.K. Uh, explained it perfectly. Do we have that? Ah, uh, uh, I wish we had that. Well, somebody, minutes, yeah. yeah, I know. So we can get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah go find uh, that. A white guy gave you the definition of <laughs> No, Louis. Louis Mexican. It was the, oh, right. It was Louis the origin Mexican. of the word. The He's actual Louis origin. Mexican convenient. Yeah, I would yeah. yeah. You're right. <laughs> He's Mexican when he needs a federal grant. <laughs> Do you hear uh, the best definition for the word, by the way, coming up? It's actually the origin of the word. The origin. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, bl- our own uh, Black Earl works on the Ron and Fez show. He uh, fancies himself uh, part Cherokee Indian. Jeez. Yeah, and, and I just read in the paper that the uh, Cherokee Indians are throwing out all the blacks, saying that they're not Cherokee anymore because the way they got to be Cherokee was they were actually slaves owned by the Indians. And the Cherokee Nation decided that they could become Cherokee. The Indians own slaves too. Yes, the Indians own slaves. I didn't know that. And right. they could then become Cherokee Indians. And now, recently, like right uh, the day after Black History Month, the Cherokees got out a little meeting, a little powwow, and decided get the blacks out. <laughs> Beat we don't it. want them anyway. <laughs> Beat it so they're not entitled to any of the um, oh, privileges sweet. that the, the Indians casinos? are. Yeah, no All casinos. That stuff. For yeah, you. no you casinos. You ever go to the casinos oh. in uh, Mohegan Sun? I never see an Indian. That black guy. Yeah, there's a bunch guys of black guys. The guys. They're running the. They're yeah. running the joint. I run this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking <Indian>. Apache, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> what, what's your next question? <laughs> Shut up. I double down on that. <laughs> I need some money. Joe from Illinois. Joe, what's up? Hey, fellas. How's it going? This How morning. do you do, Joe? What up, Joe? Uh, yeah, I just called to tell you, uh, they just took away the Illini's, uh chief Illini wig. The what? Yeah, they took the away Illini, our mascot. Uh, University of Illinois basketball Good. team, man. Oh, yeah? Good. 
Yeah, they just took away their mascot. Oh, fucking it. Fuck the uh, mascot. No, the fucking what's team. next? Hey, who's next? Exactly. Keep a lot away. Hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, fuck you. <laughs> We've been enjoying the mascot all these years. You enjoy the mascot. No, I don't. Hey, I yeah. hate them. I hate them next to Philly <laughs> fanatic. <laughs> you got to stop. Uh, what was the Braves uh, mascot? Every time a homer was hit, he would kind of jump <laughs> up. Chief and... Nakahoma? Was uh, it exactly. Yeah. Or is he from uh, uh, the other? I don't know. I want him Chief Nakahoma. How about this? All right, how about this? Let's get it for the WNBA. How about Team Lippy? And the fucking mascot is a woman with a fucking zipped up mouth and a black eye. How about that? Team Lippy. <laughs> Lippy. Team Lippy. <laughs> team dinner with late. You mean Team Licky? <laughs> no, Lippy. Or fucking don't. being punched in the mouth know. by her husband. Yeah, well. Uh, I, I want yeah. our mascots back. But if you, you, you know, you, I don't. You, you say the Philly fanatic and stuff, they're going to say that it's uh, goofing on retards. Right, that's what I'm saying. Because Who, it acts retarded. Next? You can't, you can't get rid of the mascots. Right. Like, hey. But it's not. It's, Save the mascots. Mr. Met, I can see being a Down Syndrome parody. Big um, <laughs> fucking waterhead. <laughs> but Mr. Fuck. Met, big baseball-headed yeah. goof. But Chief Wakahoo and all that shit, man. Waka I, I don't blame... Oh, uh, they're I, just I, trying to have a little fun, Jimmy. I and know. what, now no fucking reruns of F Troop because no, of the fucking Hakawi uh, Indians? You don't remove... They went, what? where the Hakawi? Are you dating an Indian woman? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish Why I was because they big pussies. <laughs> Do they? The kids like a papoose. They carry their young in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want the, uh, the uh, origin of the word? Yes. yes. Give me the. All right. From Louis C.K. Nigger came from <laughs> originally. There was some black guy being a nigger, <laughs> so they called him a nigger. <laughs> it's good for y'all to have a bunch of niggers, niggers. <laughs> and that's where it started. And this was a nigger was a feeling. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like this. Mu- it wasn't just. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't some wordplay. Just blurting out a sound that it came out ah! like that. Just the guy was being such a nigger <laughs> that it fucking made someone say the word. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking God. Hey, Patrice is helping it along, too, there. Jesus he wasn't Christ, disagreeing, Patrice. man. Patrice he was knows. being so serious, though, because we had just found out the definition of what word? Kike. Of kike, kike. yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, the Jewish slur. And uh, so Louis goes, you know what the definition or the origin of the word nigger is? And we were, like, looking at him all like, what? Like, wow, we want to know. And he comes out with that. And we're like, you fucking asshole. I was buying this. Is this healthier? <laughs> the origin. Yeah. <laughs> origin? Yeah, it's like a spelling bee. Origin, please? <laughs> What's the matter, Opie? Sweetie. This is the healthier version of the parfait. I like yeah. a parfait. But it's healthy. Yeah. If you don't like it, I'll get you to... All right. Look. Thank you, Kenny. The bottom part of that looks like the shoes of a sexually abused airline passenger. <laughs> oh, thanks. What is that? Yeah, as I drink a smoothie. <laughs> oh, he's got a little bleeding of the testicles. <laughs> um, yeah, Chief mm. Nakahoma was the brave uh, mascot. Chief Nakahoma. <laughs> Nakahoma. See, it sounds like an Indian, uh, but it's it's knock a home run. Like hit uh, a. You get it, Jimmy? Fucking awful. Why? You remember they had the, where was the wrestler? Chief J. Strongbow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All of, you know, what about the wrestlers that, that have these names? That not, yeah. you know, the you Iron Sheik. Yeah, the Iron Sheik. <laughs> total fucking They're stereotype all... of a, he wore the curly fucking old <laughs> shoes they haven't worn in centuries. He was horrific. <laughs> that guy was great. <laughs> uh, down with America. Uh, fucking uh, wrestlers, guys. Wrestlers are slightly different in that they, they all parody different the, every ethnicity kind of gets it, but then again, you're right. In What's a way, the you, mascot you, door? you don't see a Jew. You don't see a Jew wrestler. Here he is, you know, Hyman the banker. You know, it's a naughty Jew with a big nose. And whatever. I'm going to to out wrestle you. And all he does is send his lawyer out to sue the wrestler once he hits him. Dude, how fucking great would that be? <laughs> That'd be a great gimmick. Where's Vince? Oh, he has his lawyer talking for him. He's at the pay us and stuff. And <laughs> shadow boxing. Yeah, he's like shadow boxing, but never actually goes in the ring and does anything. Yeah. His lawyer just serves papers to everyone in the ring. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you know what? That's what it, the, the, I think the, the, the Jewish folk never really get it like that. Never. Why? Because we're scared of them. You know what happened? <laughs> Everyone's they, scared of Well, because they run the media. <laughs> They have been through you gotta leave them alone. so much oppression and slavery. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking to? 
<laughs> well, Brando got in trouble because he was being interviewed, and he goes, you know, Hollywood has never cartooned or parodied the kike. He said they have. Wow, no, no, he no. actually said yes, it Yes, like he did, that? but he wasn't saying that to be racist. What he was saying is that they've done, like, the Dago, the nigger. He said they've done every race, like, black exploitation movies or mafia movies have taken the stereotype of an Italian as a guinea. It's a mafia guinea. That's a stereotype of an Italian. Right. So he said they've never shown the kike, like that, which is the parody of the Jew. They, they just don't show you that in Hollywood. Well, it was done in another country uh, between uh, the mid-30s to mid-40s. <laughs> uh, a lot of cartoons, a lot of posters were put up parodying the uh, Jewish uh, person. Where? Uh, Berlin. Berlin. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Poland. France, you in want our, me to expand? In Iraq right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's go to Bruce in Memphis. Bruce. Yeah, it's Rooster, not Bruce. All right, Rooster. Yes. What's up, Bruce? Hey, Start look, with Bruce. You know, Rooster. Normally, I absolutely love Rooster. Jimmy, but I can't believe what a fucking hypocrite he's being. Not today. being a hypocrite, dude. Uh, why am I? First of all, why am I being a hypocrite? Because you have defended people's right to talk about. Everybody, I am part Cherokee, Dude. and I think that the Cherokee Nation needs to rise up and have a little thicker skin let me, about their name. Let me say, I agree. Talking about anybody in, 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 is different than than cartooning them. In a, and I'm not politically correct, but they are the only group that you're allowed to do that to. It bugs them, and I think that they're right to be irritated by it. Cause if, you, if you did it with blacks, like, I think you should be able to talk about everybody, but you can't cartoon everybody in a mascot, can you? You can't do it with blacks, you can't do it with Jews, you can't do it in any other group where it's acceptable. But we've proven the well, Indians are weak, so it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, no, no, yeah, exactly. Society. Believe me. Why, why don't we just have them running around with an right. anthrax blanket on? You know, I mean, come on. Yeah, we were the first terrorists. Let's, isn't let's that kind of, isn't it kind of cool, though, like, that the, they're not naming a fucking, you know, weak piece of shit thing after an Indian. They're naming like a fucking football team, man. The Chiefs, yeah, like, like you know, yeah, Kansas City. Yeah, Chiefs, it's like yeah. you want you want a, 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 a name that shows energy and courage and right. bravery. The Tomahawk, That's why they picked the name. Uh, the not, Tomahawk Chop. It's not the Kansas City Chief faggots, right? <laughs> it's like the fucking you know, it's it's like a, it, it, I think it's kind of showing that they're powerful and and kind of you know. Yeah, say that when they're cool. three and thirteen and fucking at halftime. I will give it to you that fans are idiots oh and, and the mask. Scots do have to look a little goofy. They just run out. Just, I like but the although they although I believe I believe the Redmen's mascot wasn't that just a guy dressed like an Indian, mm -hmm. like legitimately with the headdress and the makeup and he stuff was like warrior, that. Right? A warrior, yeah, a warrior. Yeah. Like it wasn't like the goofy, yeah. big headed fucking. You know, Mardi Gras float head Indian. How Smoking terrific. Pipe. How terrific. Chief Nakahoma can fuck his when mother. He <laughs> stinks. Chief Nakahoma stinks. He's a fucking clit. <laughs> fucking hate Chief Nakahoma. Hey, uh, the man knocked the homer, didn't he? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you hate damn. Chief Nakahoma. You really do. Oh, I would God. love them to say that he's HIV positive. <laughs> all right. All right. Chief waste. Chief waste. Away. <laughs> Can you please call up with other mascots? Holy Cause, shit! Cause we, we got we hit Jimmy's button. I, today. I wish I could remember some more of these mascots. I, I can't. Think a mascot touched him when he was a baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. You got the red He's skin. Knock a homo. Grabbed his fucking cock. Damn. Knock a homo. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was his first baseball game. Yeah. <laughs> he went to the bathroom by himself. Uh, hey there, son. You need a little help. Put his tomahawk on your ball sack. I'm Chief Nakahomo. <laughs> yeah, come here. Oh, 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 please call up with other mascots. Oh, please. <laughs> we just don't have that knowledge right now. Uh, yeah, you got the Cleveland Indians. You know, these they like naming their teams. I know. Well, you know what? They should. Again, it's legal, but it should just be enough already. Get over it. Fucking change the name of your shit dick team. What are people not going to root for the Redskins? People fucking root for the, when, when the fucking Colts moved and came back as the Ravens. They rooted for him. What the yeah. fuck? What about the Cowboys? Well, the Cowboys had to, it was he had a black it was a black guy who was dressed as a cowboy. Yes, and I think he came to Philadelphia and they beat the shit out of him. <laughs> of course they did. Oh, they beat him like what the fuck? <laughs> he had a cowboy shooting his gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the black guy. Wow. Yeah, the black guy wow. Yeah, wait, why do they pick a black guy to be a cowboy in Don't Dallas? Know. The yeah. mascot is a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? A nerd. I said the man. 
Dallas got it on Nick. Yeah, I never thought about that before. A black yeah. cowboy in Dallas is a little strange. Well, yeah, he, he we've been to up. Dallas a few times. And that's that's I, I'm surprised that uh, that flow. And that's through the years. He's been there a long time. Yeah, I, think I understand. He's dead, actually, he got beat up in Philly. Yeah, I Jesus think he was Christ. beaten. City of uh, brotherly he was love. Pretty good in Philly. In between, Philly is the worst. Philly <laughs> brothers are rough. Man. In between Santa Claus getting pegged with batteries, <laughs> should fucking travel with a construction worker, a biker, and an Indian. Has the worst. Faggot. White guys, <laughs> you ever want to see? It, it's got to be the worst white, white guy. guy. <laughs> it is. It's just what, awful. What about <laughs> the guys with the Philly beards? They're like no, uh, the, the long beards. Yeah, that's the that's they, the, they, their problem. No, no, this problem. The Philly there, white guys are the worst. They're big. They're thick neck. These <laughs> thick neck <laughs> white thick boys neck. are the worst. The Boston white guys are. Uh, they're number two. Uh, uh, <laughs> number two. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Philly white guys are number one. But at They're, least in Boston, you know where you can go and where you can't go kind of a thing. Right. You know, you're not going to go fucking into Saudi and just bust into a bar and go, hey, <laughs> niggas, what's up? You know? Well, you know. It, like I, Philly, though. I'm at the game, the Philadelphia Eagles game. I'm a Cowboy fan. And uh, there, there is a guy walking through with just a Georgetown hat. They started booing him and throwing beer on him. He's like, this is Georgetown. It's a basketball team. We don't give a fuck. Get out of here. Animals. They are animals. Oh, you got to love Christ. them. We love Philly. Let's go to, yeah. Okay. Let's go to uh, William in Miami. William, what's up? Hello, guys. Hello, Bill. What's up? Well, I'm just going to say I'm part Seminole, and I'm down here in Florida, and a lot of it has to do with pride. We're actually proud to have these teams uh, have our have our heritage as their symbols. It's nothing uh, slanderous or offensive. No, you're not. Hey, let's. Oh, uh, really? We are. Yeah. Let's, uh, good for you. We, let's well, figure I, out. You know, if it's Chief Nakahomo from Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Uh, well, thank it. Well, how about the fucking uh? How about the uh, mascot for the Indians? It's Chief Wahoo. Wahoo. That's his name, Chief Wahoo. And it's that big round face. Yeah, Wahoo. Wahoo. <laughs> That's good. That's good culture. Chief Wahoo. All right, before we get off the air today, we got to figure out the worst <laughs> mascot. Because someone, uh, good old Freddy, Fast Freddy from Jamaica Station, I forgot about this. And I, I think we were up there when they debuted this. The Red Sox mascot is Ew. awful. What it's, is it? Oh, that it's thing It's a green monster. Stupid. The green monster. Ew. The green monster. And his oh. name is, uh, I forgot now. Where Should be a you? shot pregnant uh, Wally. <laughs> shot pregnant <laughs> <laughs> Wally? He, Wally. He couldn't find a... <laughs> Just for the name alone, he should be fired. Wally. <laughs> that has no thought process. That Wally. green monster. <laughs> I remember when they debuted him, the whole place just started booing, like, what are you doing to our city? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new Boston Red Sox mascot, it's Wally the Green Monster. And you just heard, boo, go fuck yourself, you cocksucker. Who the fuck is Wally? You fucking queer, you fucking queer, Wally. Go fuck Wally, your mother, your fucking mother. Hey, Sully, Wally's a queer. Sully, I'm going to lob this fucking bottle at the, at the fucking monster's head. You watch. Oh. <laughs> and they should have. That's no oh, thought God. process behind no. it. No. And Jim from Philly. A Jim, wall. Jim from Philly writes, Opie, we didn't throw batteries at Santa. We threw snowballs at Santa. Yeah. We threw batteries at uh, J.D. Drew. J.D. Drew. <laughs> That's Who's right. That? Baseball player. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He was a baseball player for us. And a, let's not forget the standing ovation after what's-his-name was paralyzed. Michael Irvin. Yeah. Michael oh, Irvin. Shit. <laughs> Fucking brutal, man. That's what gives Philly its, uh, its oh. fabric, its texture. Yeah. You, you just love the hair stuff like that from cities. <laughs> are, just mean people. God damn. Why don't you love that? You have to love it. I'm from Philly. I've yeah. suffered all racism, all this race rise, and I still love it. <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I, I just love Philly. they out of their fucking Mind. All right, let's go to. Certainly are. Adam's gonna piss off uh, little Jimmy today. Adam in Virginia, go ahead. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey, uh, I got a couple of them for you. First off, the Atlanta Braves have uh, Tommy Hawk. What? And Homer D. Brave. <laughs> Homer D. Brave. <laughs> uh, how about how about the other one? Maybe it could be a, a white guy in a mustache, husband of the communist cunt. <laughs> how about fucking Ted Turner throws that one in there? Uh, and then uh, the other one is the University of Georgia Bulldogs. They have Harry Dog. Harry Dog. Oh, like it's, Harry or Harry. But dog. it's just, just, they're just I, they, maybe you can have like an ultimate fighting mascot competition. Have the last mascot standing, just a whole, a bloody mascot just bashing. 
You can give them weapons. You know, Wahoo have his little <laughs> tomahawk. Yeah, they have to have what they're equipped with. What the Philly fanatic gonna like tongue people to death with that stupid yeah, with that fucking tongue. party favorite tongue he sticks out? <laughs> Oh, did I want to smack him when he came into the studio when we were at uh, YSP? Oh, he smelled. And he smelled, and he smelled oh, so they his figure fucking out how to costume. Those mascot fucking uniform. And, and he's inside it. You don't see. You just see the dopey face of the of the fanatic. And we're like, oh fuck, that stinks. And he's like, look, guy, I don't get to fucking wash this thing. Yeah, he's oh, so funny. Out. You don't have a way to wash these mascot no. outfits. <clears throat> look at this Philly fanatic. You that, no, that's the green funny. monster. Uh, hey, let me see. Ew, it, it looks Wally. like fucking Mayor Menino with a green head. <laughs> big, fat fucking head. That's what the mascot should have been. A big, oversized tongue in a mayor's mouth. Mascots fucking suck. They don't help anything. No, they don't fucking get anybody riled. Oh, the mascot's getting us to cheer. Look, he's standing on the dugout. No one fucking listens to them. The mascot is fucking passive. When guys wear fucking suits to baseball games, that's what a mascot was appropriate. Yeah. They're shit. Look at the mascot, dear. How about another lucky strike? I really fucking hate them. Because they're not cute and they're not fun. They don't do anything. They're fucking embarrassing. Let's Look, a Negro's up to bat. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's go to Derek. something you don't see. Derek in uh, Jersey. Look at his fucking... He has a fucking tampon nose. <laughs> the Philly fanatic. He only has... It's a, it's, a, it's, a fuck, it's a fuck sleeve. His nose is a bookstore. Or fuck sleeve. <laughs> hey, fuck sleeve knows. I hate the Philly oh, fanatic. Fuck Why do you hate the Philly fanatic? Because you can, looks, you can it, hold it. It looks bad. It looks like a toilet that's paper. Bad. You could fuck his nose. A big hole in his nose. Yeah, the 76ers nice. had Big Shot. I think they got rid of him. That was his name, Big Shot. <laughs> big big shot. shot. Yeah, but they booed hey, him. Hey, let's go to Derek in Jersey. Derek, try to jump right, in here, good Derek. Good morning, fellas. Yeah. Hey. That's the Philly fanatic's nose. You know what that's used? For jacking off. He <laughs> <laughs> use that for jacking off. All right, fellas, the Philadelphia Phillies were the last National League baseball team to sign a black player 10 years <laughs> after Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson was quoted as saying he considered Philadelphia a city from the deep south. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Even beating out Boston? I told you, Philly really Philly's is bad. the worst. I love it. Uh, it's the, it's one the other worst. thing about Philly, they're the only city ever to drop a satchel charge from a helicopter on oh, yeah. housing to get the residents move. out. It was called the, the Move. The Move, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when Move was squatting oh, yeah, in move, buildings. Move. Uh, it was an organization called Move, it's one of the and most they were like squatting in these buildings, yeah. and they tried to get them out. The, you know, they were uh, I, I, from how much they tried, I don't quite remember. It was like this: Hey guys, you yeah. want to leave now? All right, uh, <laughs> bomb them. <laughs> yeah, and they dropped a satchel charge from a hel helicopter, and, and it was just supposed to what a, what a good incendiary. incendiary device. It was just supposed to like make a, a loud explosion and kind of tell them get the fuck out. But they dropped an incendiary device on the roof and uh, burnt the whole fucking block down. And it killed a bunch of people and yeah, yeah. injured a bunch. And kids were running out. and Oh, it was a mess. That's Philadelphia. John and Wildwood, the Philadelphia 76ers have a mascot called Hip Hop, voted the worst mascot. And when Barry Bonds came to Philly, the fans threw prescription medicine bottles at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart to throw somebody with your name on it. <laughs> Here's my name, address. <laughs> What's wrong with me? What I'm taking. <laughs> 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 Some of the illegal shit that I'm taking. <laughs> oh, oh. Right now uh, someone's pissed off. That guy's full of shit. The Red Sox were the last team to sign a black guy. And they could have been the that first. That makes more sense. The Red Mays Sox. and others tried out at Fenway before Jackie broke in and somebody yelled, get those ends off the field. <laughs> those ends. Someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Boston, man. Right. Phones are lit. We'll, go, we'll talk about mascots and some other things. I got to take a leak, man. It's Ooh. What happened? A little leaky. Like sucks. What happened? Pumpsy Green. <laughs> Can you tell me Pumpsy Green? Wait, we got some info here. What then? It's taking it's taking a little while to download here, but the the blurb I saw was Pumpsy Green was the last first base fa last first black baseball player. I want to know Sox. the first black ma mascot. That's what I want to know. Who was the first mm. <laughs> the first sports black mascot? Who has that one? Was that? I'm sure it's some team that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. Some awful racist name <laughs> <laughs> down south. Uh, he's <clears throat> the, on the Negro League. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Travis has Pirates a mascot ball. is Oliver Onion. Is that true? Uh, Travis uh, has something. Uh, it's a big oh. pair of balls that are sweaty. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, another Braves mascot that was around the same time as uh, Chief Nakahoma yeah. was his counterpart, Princess Winalata. <laughs> wow. Stop it. <laughs> swear. Winalata. Fucking, what corn balls. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Who's enjoying it, that? They just didn't care. That just shows you they, did, they didn't care about that. They just showed the mascots what they really and were. And now, Princess Winolata. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, my favorite part when she comes out. She gets you all riled up. Uh, <sighs> I love how Philly's helping us along here instead of like... Going, come on, guys! It's not that bad down here. They're like, no, they want to defend how awful it is. <laughs> uh, Matt and Philly, remember, Philly has a holding cell in a courtroom in their football stadium. <laughs> courtroom, <laughs> they do that. That's man. great. <laughs> Trials are being held <laughs> down and people being executed. Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> As always, a good fist <laughs> fight. Fucking, someone's <laughs> rolled out getting a lethal injection. <laughs> I'm doing something in the stands. <laughs> uh, That's right. great. We got lots to do, man. Keith Robinson in house. Hey, Keith. Keith Robinson entering the studio. Oh my God! Keith, there Robinson. he is. Wow, Wait a man, that's Keith, pretty fast. We, like, let's get some black advice on this. Yeah, What's Keith, that? we have moved on from the Sandy Kane thing. We're talking to Sean, the intern here. Had a girlfriend. Uh, they decided to take a month off, and the and the girlfriend uh, banged a lot of Asians. <laughs> Asians? Uh, one Asian. Oh, one Asian. One and, Asian and is a, a lot of Asians. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's only one Asian? <laughs> only one. One Asian, two, one two, Italian? Two, two white guys. And two white guys. Okay. And uh, now he's writing on himself that he's and he's suicidal. And, uh, he's yeah. feeling like he doesn't know what to do with the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now she's you broke up with her. What she do you want? She broke up with me. Oh, oh. she broke up to sleep she with the Asians? She, she wants yeah, to take it. Uh, Maybe you should be like the brothers. These guys don't care. The women <laughs> cheat. The guys cheat. I swear to God. <laughs> what they the hell? Are you place. saying the whole black they population don't take cheats? The guys are yes. on the DL. They take it personally. <laughs> but they don't take it personally. <laughs> no, well, no. No, I did take it personally. I had this girl... I, well, her name was Tina. I ain't got to say her last name. And it's the same thing. We broke up, and she came. She's like, oh, I miss you so much. You know, I was like, I was celibate. Nothing happened. And I look, her garbage can was filled with different condoms. It was a whole <laughs> <laughs> But I didn't ask exactly the breakdown of who she was sleeping with. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no. was there an Asian guy in there? <laughs> Sean needs to know. So then, yeah, so then she tells about all the guys she slept with in that month. She slept with <laughs> at least three guys. Three guys, and then... What happened in Texas? Yeah, what happened in Texas? Holy Christ, this looks like Sean! <laughs> <laughs> the Sandy Kane picture is now Sean. What happened in Texas? I don't know. She hasn't You don't said, know? She, she hasn't, hasn't said, but, but you, you suspect that there was some more sexual activity more horse in play. Texas? Some more horse you, uh, I don't guys... think she'd stoop that low. Really? Mm -hmm. To go she out with a Texan? Yeah, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> she said she's taking the vow of... Celib celibacy. 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 Yeah. yeah. So she went down to South Padre Island to sign yeah, herself. Yeah. So now you guys are back together, but you're not having sex because she's doing the celibate thing. We're not back together. They're okay. just living together. We're oh, living together. My oh, my God, boy. how uncomfortable but is that? He's looking to fool around, too, he admits. Don't you think you should make the girl, as penance, turn him on to a couple of girls? That would be... Mm. You yeah. should well, do that. I've already, I've already had a girl. What? Oh, oh yeah. breaking news. Now, how did that this work is, um, out? The work Sam's? of Sam and... Troy. How did that what? work? Well, Sam looks evil. I like Sam. <laughs> Sam is that evil. Yeah, Sam is evil. You Sam that betrayed evil, man. his mentor. You yes, he did. The fact Sam that you is have... Anakin. Young Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> he tried to torch his fucking <laughs> the Emperor. Evil, no. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. When you had sex with a girl, how hard was it to get your skinny jeans off? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this kid looks like he may be packing quite a wallop there, too. You Why are you looking at his crotch? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the whole picture. So now, now you had the a girl. whole picture. You well, had a girl. Troy and me have been working on him for a while. How to, you know, just be a man. Yeah. Just get a chick. Man up, and right? Obviously, it's worked. Act like a man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a What's two the work in progress. progress. Yeah. So how did it happen? Like you gotta explain. Yeah, what, who was this girl? Yeah, who is this girl? Who is this girl? And where? Well, yeah, we just set up girl. a date. Um, okay. We came here to see special delivery. That's a hell of a yeah. date. Well, I told him. For, I made him <laughs> Jesus, Sam. Facebook this girl that he said he liked. Poker. Tro Troy and me were literally standing over him and telling him what to write to her and say write this, write that. And finally, he wrote to her. He got her up here. We told him come up here. Just sit down and watch the show, and we'll make you look like a million bucks. We did. 
We told the girl he was better than every other intern, blah, 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 blah. He's the best intern. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we said. That gets the girls going. Yeah. They're like, what was his uh, delivery time on the coffee yesterday? <laughs> oh. <laughs> A new record, so what I happened? believe. So what Colin. happened? The girl was into it? The yeah. girl loved it. She was moving closer to him while he was sitting oh, on the couch. Wow. The girl, so how wow. did the girl look? And did you fuck her up here? No, no. We went back to our apartment, and I slept over. Why? Did you did you did you have uh, sexual Sam, intercourse with her? Not yet. Not yet. But we did, but other, he, we did other things. He cupped the breast. All right. Oh wow, so that's that good. Nice? I told, <laughs> great. I, to, and, I told uh, you about my friend that uh, him and his girlfriend lived together and they broke up. And they, they were still living in the same apartment. And she went out one night and came home at four in the morning. He was drunk. He goes, "Did you fuck him?" And she goes, "No, everything but." <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And uh, so much worse. She cattery. All right. Uh, <laughs> no names. No names. Found out. Your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, ex that you live with. So what did she find out. out? Yeah, how did she find out? She, she hacked into my Facebook. She hacked it. And, and how did she find out that? She guessed the password. I'm fucking a girl on your Facebook? <laughs> That's a violation. <laughs> and she had a meltdown. But we, how did we she lived. find out on well, your good. Facebook? Well, good. Now she knows how it feels. We messages. live together. No, she this... shares my laptop. She goes on. She knows all the passwords on there. She went onto my Facebook. She saw a message, and she just started tearing up the place. She you know, locked, I, locked herself in the bathroom, threatened her life, this is passed dramatic. out, and eventually her sister had to come and take her away. Why would you want this crazy bitch? <laughs> because they love this dramatic relationship. Yeah, he yeah. keeps him excited. He, it's it's like a horror movie. He hears noise in the basement, but he goes down there anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's what crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. This is a crazy broad. You gotta dump the fucking shit out of her and never see her or talk to her again. He's not gonna do that. He loves Why it. Why can't you? I can't. I Why? just can't. How uh, insignificant. This chick is going to be to you in a few years. Do you realize you're going to kick yourself in the fucking ass going, I could have been out just fucking, and, and meanwhile I'm wallowing in self-pity. There are girls that I remember thinking, oh my God, I'm devastated that this chick left. And now, I, I don't even know their fucking names. This is a girl that's good for you, because she's going to turn you from mild-mannered Peter Parker to the Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to stop Parker, this bullshit. Yeah, you're going, but he's going to stop this whole... Watch the next yeah, time. Yeah. You'll learn. After she smashes you a couple more times, <laughs> you'll get it. Look at the Five more Asian guys and a Mexican door. <laughs> like and Danny's pulling up crying emo guy pictures. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, classic. Danny yeah. can find some great pics, man. Keith, you think this guy's a man? <laughs> no. He's no. kind of. I, you know, he's Colin kind of knows this. I hate men in skinny jeans anyway. They bug the hell out of me. Yeah. Yeah. If you got to point your toes to put your damn jeans on, you're out of pocket. He hates, he hates skinny jeans. <laughs> he actually hated me off my skinny jeans. I had a pair. I was really like a hipster, like the youngsters. <laughs> and this son of a bitch hated me right out of them. You want him to take off his skinny jeans? I take the skin, right, skinny, take the skinny jeans, jeans off. Annoying Wait, the hell so out of continue. I think you're doing good. I think you and this girl have a. Have a sick relationship that you enjoy together. Yeah, this I could be so one too. of those. Yeah, it could be like a Sid and Nancy thing or something. No, they don't enjoy it. They don't. She's got a crazy girl. No, That's what it is. she's like manipulating Joe and her yeah. brother. She's I, manipulating. I know what she's doing. Tell them how much happier you were when you were with the other girl on Saturday. I was. Uh, it was like an escape. You from... can act like a man. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Sean is it was an escape. Okay, fuck it. It was an escape. Um, she's pulling me back in. She was the greatest piece of ass oh, I ever had. You back I've had all over the world. She pulls me yeah. back in. <laughs> Wait, I, now we got to re read what you wrote on your arm. See, now that we've got yeah, it. Yeah, what does it say? It, for real. It just show, says, show Colin. It says, show Colin. Cremate ash. That's what it says. Really? Cremate ash. What does that mean, though? Like, well, what do you... But if you cremate, it's ash. So why'd you add ash? I'd really like to be cremated. Yeah. Right now. Like well, right now. I'll volunteer. No. Wow. <laughs> when is the I'm cremated? I'm just struggling well, with these. When is the murder suicide going? Well, down? they play. Well, they play Joy Division in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to usually be delivered by a priest wearing white makeup. <laughs> why would you Robert even Smith's consider hair. Um, ending your life because? Of this girl. Yeah, you get all kinds of shit like, going on with like, these girls. Come on. You're a little player. That's the problem. You're pretending not to be a player, but you're a fucking player. You know what happens? It's, Troy brought him out, who works here. Uh -huh. He brought him out on Friday before the Saturday, and he said, 
that Sean was a complete pussy magnet. Exactly. She said That's that Sean insane. had his phone taken. Some girl took Sean's phone out of his hand and put her number. That'll exactly. You could tell. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got that he look. Got that the look. Run up to him. He looks like fucking what's his face from Twilight, Robin Pattinson. But he can't fucking play the game though. He yeah. does play the game. He's playing us right now. You think? I don't no, know. he's so. not. No, he's, he's not. not. He's, 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 he's heartbroken. God, I'm surprised that you. <laughs> this tell. guy is heartbroken. He's nervous yeah. as hell. Girls don't like pussies, oh. and they like the. Yeah, they do. Why do you think you're shy? Why do you think you're shy? He's like Twilight. <laughs> Fucking a guy with an AK-47 tattoo. Oh, because he's probably a badass oh, I motherfucker. I love you and get on my tattoo. No, no, no. This this guy's nervous. He's very nervous. Okay. And girls like they think yeah. it, they oh. think like Colin think. No, there's more to him. And they un <laughs> unfold it. It's nothing. And it's, it's just a bad. frightened kid. Yeah. <laughs> he's not just a frightened kid. He's petrified. Yeah, I'm gonna man. get to the bomb of this guy. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this kid's a pussy magnet. You can tell. But he doesn't yeah, but, know that. But just looks wise. <laughs> Not just looks this wise. This kid is a priest yeah. magnet. I mean, pussy magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sean needs How's a good cry. <laughs> He's got to get this emotion out. You want to cry for us, Sean? I think I think I've been crying all day. Really? Oh. Uh, and first I, I of all, how about the fact? Uh, how about the fact? Danny's making uh, these disgusted well, faces. Can I break, what, wait, what? What makes can you cry? What makes him cry though? Let's find out, Colin. <laughs> okay. What makes you cry? But there's another suspicious thing we got to bring up. Okay. Yeah. The real shy, withdrawn guy doesn't go up to the porn star and go, hey, I want to talk about my relationships. He was probably trying to get blown from her. No. No, Colin. I think no. he was hell. You usually go to so so That was set up. No, nah, she's yeah, a filthy fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to sweet girl, what but now you she's Carey. a hoa. Mary Carey was hitting on him. That's what happened. That's why they started to. Why were they yeah. talking? He was, Mary no, Carey said it was to anybody. She said it was five guys, by the way. Yeah, I, I heard that right. piece. Oh. He'll talk to anybody about his no, relationships. No, no. But Mary Carey would not talk to any. If some ugly guy goes, hey, Mary, I'm really upset about my girlfriend. She's like, okay, I gotta go. Bye. She sat there and talked to this kid for 20 minutes. She probably well, she's a probably good looking kid. He's a good looking kid. He's she's trying know. to set me up with her friend. Oh. <laughs> oh! What the oh. fuck are you doing? Oh. What are you oh. doing? Oh. He's blowing it. You fucking, you know, you know, you, you know the work that uh, that guys like me have to go through. <laughs> to get you fucking. You got a point. You know, so I, and I got to sit there and listen to this guy talk about how porn stars want to hook him up and shit like that. If you I had a, a point. radio career, I'd be a fucking jerking off every night. He's got a point. <laughs> God, you should have a little gratitude. It. Yeah. God bless you. You, you know. Wad. Oh, he's like, oh, Wait. poor me. Shut Colin, your mouth. Yeah. Colin, would you like him to apologize for being good looking and... Having well, not girls apologize, but I do think he needs to have a little grabbing gratitude. the phone out of his hand and put their fucking number in it. That happens yes. to you, Ann, right? And well, I want to grab something. the phone out of my hand and throw it against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I get. So get out of here, Sean. What makes you cry? You were getting into it a little bit. <laughs> You've been crying all day. What's, like what's making you? Butterflies, kittens. What makes you cry? <laughs> last night, the breakup of New Order. Relive, relive what happened last night. Yeah, where, what happened? Where you broke down last night. What happened? Relive it. Come on. Let, let us let's go back to last at, night. Uh, the park last night. Uh, and, and who's we? He's pissing me off. Me and the girl. Another. He's with a girl last the night too. Girl, right? the, the oh, the ex. ex. Oh, yeah. All right, with the ex at what a park. What park? Uh, Carl Schultz Park. Oh, on the Upper East Side. Lovely. That's right. Schultz. By the Mayor's Mansion. Really? You know this shit, Colin? Yeah, it's a stupid park. Go ahead. <laughs> that's, that's Colin, Colin Cruz is there. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's about midnight. He has those same dumb sunglasses <laughs> on. Why <What? laughs> <At> midnight? <yeah. laughs> he cruises. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, where the fuck have you been? Uh, we need you on this show. Uh, so you're in the fucking so you're in the park. You're with uh, your yeah. ex. Yeah, relive it. Relive what it. happens? I, I, I expect us, tears now. Give us some detail. Yes. There you go. Everyone oh, hurts. There you go. Very good. Good job. Collins, you All know right. what? Collins right about this kid. I'm watching him. He's, He's a, a little actor. Yeah, I'm watching this kid. No, don't I'm put that on. Put on the cure. He likes that kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what sad song do you like, Sean? Um, Radiohead. Not Radiohead. Uh, Joy Division. Yeah, this is a Joy Division. He does like Joy Division. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. We Colin talked about Joy Division. This is right on the, on the nose, man. Which one you like? Uh, I only know Shadow Play. Probably. Um, Disorder? No, 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 no. Huh? Um, what's that? 
Yes, that one's good. That so one's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Scott, Scott, <laughs> yeah, what's that song? Daddy's it, disgusting. Daddy's disgusting. It's, like, so it's like kind of like funeral music. Oh, really? Oh, cut the you mean everything you ever had? You right, Colin? Uh, damn it, you were right. <laughs> this kid is a phony. He's a goddamn <laughs> player. <laughs> he like, he's he's joined us in He can't name a fucking yeah, song. He bangs right? them yeah. all. All right, take us back to the moment yesterday. Yeah, take we'll, us to the moment. That's a good idea. Take us to the moment. You're not crying. Excuse me, one last request. Can Sam stand in for the girl? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Because they want to do the park. You want it to be the moment. If you need, yeah. if you need to, I will. Moment. Oh, Sam has been known to kiss a guy or two, so this is I've, perfect. Uh, three, and that was extenuating Colin, circumstances. Sam has kissed three guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're in the park. Yeah, yeah, so, and skinny jeans. <laughs> and, and, and he sucked on a strap on once. Just, you know. That was, yeah, that was once, and that was for something you wanted to see. Exactly. That's how he uh, justifies you know, it. I don't care who wants to see it. I'm not sucking a strap on. God can say, hey, just do this and you're in. Nah. <laughs> He's bringing some normalcy to the room. All right, go ahead, Sean. You're what in the park. park day. You're it's in the park. The, the Eternal. Team. The Eternal by Joy Division. <laughs> God, uh, the is walking eternal. past. <laughs> <laughs> the Eternal. Yeah, yeah, rattling rattling, rattling, rattling his keys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving past in leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> You need a, you need some company. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a fa I have like a fake handlebar mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Your kids look a little lonely. I <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead, Sean. We, we got the music and everything now. We're uh, we're in. I knock we're, on the door. Uh, Relive this. She shit. opens, and she's like, "I really got to talk to you." I really gotta get some things off my chest. So we go down to the park. Sorry. We gotta go down to the park and talk. And um you know, she just basically says the worst things that I could ever hear. Like, like what? Like, like I don't know if I'll never get another chance to say this, but I really love you and I want to be with you and you know, you're the only one that I want. If you don't be with me, then this is it for me, pretty much. She said that. Yeah. Like, All right. you are the most amazing person I've ever met. But, um, then, but. Okay. And continue. she was basically on her knees, just. Yeah. Just begging like for. Was. Begging. All right. For forgiveness. And there's just. She was just losing it, crying. And sad. I just. You know what that does? Like seeing that. But as she's oh, no. doing that, you're just uh, picturing a naked Asian standing in front of her as she's oh. on her knee. Uh, she's just on her showing knees. complete remorse for everything that's yeah. happened. Like what? What? Blowing the Asian guy? Oh. She's. You know how much effort it takes to blow an Asian guy. <laughs> 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 you got to be dedicated. <laughs> uh. well, we were both just crying. Uh, just yeah. sitting in the park crying at how messed up the situation is. You kids need a police officer or something? <laughs> <laughs> so you're crying. <laughs> Colin not giving up, just, just making loops. <laughs> He's not going to give up on this kid. <laughs> just over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you can go. Boy, come on in. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Um, so you go. It's like, yeah. give me another chance. Give me another chance. She and I broke just, up with you, though, right? Yeah. All right. So what did you do? I just didn't say anything. You just cried it out. You just kept crying. Were you holding each other as you were crying? No, I pushed her off me when she tried to... Because it's too hard. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. He knows he shouldn't give her a second chance because he had such a good time with the same girl that he was on the date with. So what oh, is your I want to give her a second chance. But, I don't see your but conundrum. What can't you get over? Yeah, I'm not getting this one. <laughs> I, don't your, I don't see your problem. I can't get over it. You're not you going, going back, back with her. I would beat you right now. I just would yeah. beat you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got a choice to make. It's like one from column A, one from column. Oh, All yeah. right, bad example. Oh, bad example. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead, Sean. Uh, go ahead. 
Um, he just feels guilty about her. Yeah. He's confusing guilt with love. I guess Coke Logic knows uh, a thing or two about blowing Asians, because he writes, blowing an Asian guy is like building a ship in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> No. Wait, Colin's almost back around for another loop, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Colin's coming back around. You guys have me on some... <laughs> hey, hello? <laughs> Kids all right? <laughs> and the real, cops, so, the real cops like, Colin, what are you doing? I'm like, come on, guys, give me a break, fellas. <laughs> this looks like a sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> With his fake hands on my trash, you the end of trash and me in this goddamn thing. I right, it, Sean. Continue, please. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, because you're 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 torn between taking her back or starting a whole new uh, uh, relationship or sexual little phase of your and life. How old is she? Without How her? old are you? She's uh, twenty. I'm twenty-one. Oh my God! She just gave up the Peace Corps to be with me. Ooh, oh, that's not a hard thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she gave up the Peace Corps. The thing is, the thing is peace was spelled differently. <laughs> she, she was in the other Peace Corps. <laughs> And is Colin coming around again? <laughs> That's what I think it's time for another loop. <laughs> uh, she gave up the peace corps. Uh. <laughs> oh, shit. She gave up community college to be with me. <laughs> peace corps. What the fuck is this? 1968? It's shipping off to Nam? It's part of the story, though, because she was going to leave him for about a year. Last time yeah, we talked to Sean. You know what else we, I found out? What? She wanted to go to the Peace Corps. You know where her mom met her dad? Peace Corps? While her mom was away in the Peace Corps. Oh, uh, in, in Asia. Right. <laughs> yes, you all felt the Asians. Did she give up Asia? <laughs> Do you think it's symbolic that she's a Peace Corps issues with a guy with an AK-47 tattoo? Yeah. She's conflicted. <laughs> she's That's what you like about her. Very. Should we, should we uh, let Sean through the radio talk to this broad? <laughs> what would you say to her? Right now, for everybody. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, right? I don't want to talk to her. No, we want to hear it. No, yeah. Right. Well, well, I think Dice should talk to her. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah. But if that, hold on. If that's the case, then uh, that's what you say to her. Have, a, have an imaginary conversation with her right now. Three guys shot their goo on you. <laughs> hold on. And your boyfriend wants you, doesn't want you back. You're contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> you got Colin Quinn making another loop. Here, Here he comes. Here comes Colin Robert, a loop. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like this... running out of gas, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind. If you don't go away, I'll be right back. Make up your mind. <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> Colin's in the cell His mustache is coming off. <laughs> the gas I'm, I'm, at the the 90, <laughs> I'm at the station on 96th. I'm at the station on 96th Street. <laughs> Mr. Quinn, why are you always here every Tuesday night? You're here. Oh, uh, you know can't, he can't fill up fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to get back into the car. All right, listen, we got Bob Levy on the line. Bob. Listen to me. Bobby. Hey, Sean, uh, the guys on Altitude just called you a fucking fag. <laughs> <laughs> Take off your tight jeans and fucking hang yourself. She fucked the United Nations. Yeah, yeah. We don't know why. Nice why do you still have your skinny jeans on? You know what makes Keith very nervous. So take yeah. them off and and fucking continue here, please. Skinny yeah. jeans. I'm worried about one woman, please. And he's only twenty-one, Bob. He has no idea how many more women are gonna fucking break his heart. And Colin too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, Bob. Bob, leave here. Bye, Bob. Mm, you can put your bike in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Drive you home. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that movie L.I.E.? No, I was fucking glad. Yeah? Yeah, I see that one. It's that kind of a guy. <laughs> that kind of that a guy. That kind of a guy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't judge him. I don't judge him. I'm like that kind of a guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean, talk to this broad, please. Do we have another Joy Division? Okay, good. There we go. Yeah, Sean. She's in front of you. She's confronting you. Go ahead. <laughs> look, look at the cartoon. Out. Look at what Damien has to go to. South Park. South Park emo. Kids. Yeah. How do you not think that this is the logical conclusion to what you did? 
Wait, can December. we stop this for a second? I'm thinking a John Hughes uh, song at, at this moment. Oh, really? You're going to go Hughes. old school. No? <laughs> What's that? Chicago? Yeah. That's All right, Sean, sorry. That was a dumb idea. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Just... How could you have such... disregard for... my emotions and how I feel... And just think that you do these things and there are no consequences. It's just absurd to think that. That this isn't like the logical conclusion that we're going to break up. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, never talk again. I know that's hard to hear. I know that's something that you've never thought would happen but it's our reality and you have to live with it yeah keep going and I really don't know how we're gonna cope with it but we have to be responsible we can't lower ourselves to making threats against our lives your mother asked me to pick you up <laughs> get, in. get in drive you home <laughs> <laughs> Emergency at home. You yeah. get in the car. <laughs> oh my god! It's the greatest. Could be the greatest image ever. Colin drives you around. Colin cruises. <laughs> Cruise in the park. It's just not giving up. No, of course not. He's, <laughs> he's got some great A fucking beef and he's not going to let it go. Oh, no. <laughs> Tight pants. <laughs> right. All right, guys, Sean, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh. Well, she was well. just saying how you two are in love and, and you're the only one. I'm the only one who's proven that. Step in front of a train of steel. <laughs> and then burn you, of course. <laughs> he wants to be cremated. What? <laughs> yeah, or like, something. You have to... <laughs> you have to get past this. If you don't get past it, I'm not going to get past it. And it's just going to be a mutual destruction of both of us. But she can't get past it. You're the only one for her. She felt nothing of these three guys Nobody's, she was with? She didn't feel Nobody's anything. Oh, no, she felt something, all right. Yeah. Nobody's more beautifully evil than Sam. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> yes. Beautifully evil. <laughs> Corner. I mean, you live together. Could you cry for us, Sean, please? Oh, he's, he's working he's all right. right. Get some emotion out. Give us a good cry. You have to watch her Come pack on. up her stuff. Envision the Asian guy whipping his little piece out. What's your ways to 22? You want to go to the gap? <laughs> <laughs> How about Forever 21? <laughs> yeah, take it to the mall, Forever 21. Get in the car. <laughs> Just tell everyone you're my nephew. <laughs> I got two pants and some glue for my mustache. <laughs> it's falling off. I just, I think it's the worst when she blames herself. That's well, what gets me. It's but her, it's her fault. That's how she feels. That's mm -hmm. how you made her feel. I must have done something wrong though to like cause this to drive her away like that. What do you to think you did? Cause her to stray from the. Why would she? Have sex with I three must have, guys. They broke up. She was trying to get that revenge fuck. But why would she do that? Like, why would she break up with you in the first place? What he did broke you up do with wrong? her. No, she, she broke the fuck around. Yeah, no, she, she wants she back. She broke up with him, but he can't. No, well, get over what she did. She original, what, video, what, right? What, what can't the she get over? Happened because of the Asian guy. Oh, God damn that Asian That's guy. So she <laughs> cheated oh. on you. She did oh. cheat on you. Of course the black guy would say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. She you. didn't cheat on me. She How did, did she not cheat, cheat on you? you guys get along. We were broken up until the Asian guy fucked her. <laughs> Monday, we got into a fight on the phone. I hung up the phone. I disconnected it. I deleted my Facebook. I just disconnected. I didn't go to class that week. Wow. 
I was having real mental, like, yeah. suicidal thoughts. Oh, boy. And by Thursday, it happened. By she, Thursday, she was already sitting on a fucking agent guy. Just, just three days. Three, three days. days. Yeah. Fucking A, uh, bitches, she right? She's days. 20 years old. What she do you thought, expect? Right, she thought I broke up with her. Uh, so I didn't say thought. anything. I didn't say well, we're Obviously, you're up. the only one for her. <laughs> she's 20. He's 21. Is that really a time to be fucking, you know, uh, well, monogamous? Uh, Top Gun from Canada. He's listening to Joy Division. She's fucking the Red Army. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, with the AK-47 tattoos, and we don't even know what happened in Texas yet. We, yeah. Something obviously happened. <laughs> yeah, next yeah. time you're gonna find that one out. The next time she's fucking yep. Next on time they period. break up. Show. Uh, yeah. I, uh, next time it just doesn't Jesus. matter anymore. Apparently, you know? when you kiss her next goodnight, time... she thinks you're breaking up. <laughs> Why does she? Hey, wait, you know, someone is bringing up... halfway through South by Southwest. <laughs> anyway. Skip O'Brien is bringing up that I th I think you used uh, Sylvester Stallone's speech in one of the Rocky movies with the, if you can change and I can change, Whoa! then maybe we all can change. Yeah, he's full of shit, Rocky, this kid. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. I told you this kid's a player. Mm. Are you doing a fucking Rocky speech tour? No. I, mm. So give us a sincere heart. speech right now. There you go, Straight Keith. from the heart. No, that's bullshit. Even saying straight from the heart is full of shit. Say something right now that we can believe. That's not, a, that's not yeah. a Morrissey album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and give her some kind of ultimatum. You know. She's saying that she's in love with you. She needs you to survive. Could you put on this map where Penn Station is? <laughs> Just come over to my window. <laughs> <laughs> soon, to be, soon to be lost. <laughs> cruising uh, Colin. <laughs> cruising Colin. Cruising Colin. It's I hate it, but I just know a great. Thing. I know a great thing when I hear it. <laughs> he keeps putting his glasses on every time you do another one. It. I know. A, I know a mainstay when I see it. That's what, that's what, that's what hurts the most. <laughs> A benchmark. They'll be hearing I know, I know a recurring character. <laughs> They'll be hearing this one five years from now. You know that, right? All right, go ahead, Sean. Uh, we got to wrap this shit up. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Give, give us an ending Not, here. I feel yeah, like, ending to this. We'll continue I, with the show. I but. feel like I've just messed up her life. Her life. So you feel guilty for what <laughs> you've done to her. Because want... meanwhile, she had sex with three guys while you fucking just sat there. Well, don't forget about Texas. Pining. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking at least what? five. <laughs> 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 Danny just popped up a picture of Pacino and cruising. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, got the, my hat. <laughs> you got one of those yeah. captain hats. Yeah, one of those fucking YMCA fucking... Oh, Get. God, what is that? <laughs> Cruising, Pacino and cruising. Get in here, you Quinn, little... Quinn, cruising. Get in here, you little brat. <laughs> yeah, like assless chaps. I'm be, mm, taking in. <laughs> you know, he shows up at his girlfriend's house last night, and she throws guys slipping a menu under the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean, come on. Let's wrap this up. You heard Keith. Yeah. yeah, she's, yeah. Oh, Come on, cool. she's free to do whatever she wants. Oh, don't um, say that to her. You know what? I <laughs> so so really really say, you're not free to do anything. <laughs> Most girls would do that within reason, not this one. <laughs> she's making, she's making you feel like a monster. Uh, hold on. For, what? Let me tell. Let me tell you something. Yeah. You might not have heard this, and and it's an old saying. If you love something, set oh, it free. If it comes back and it's caked with cum, <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we call her? Can we get her on the phone? Absolutely not. Why, man? We almost had her on the phone once, didn't we? Pop yeah. Out. Kick steak, man. How about calling the Asian guy? You got the Asian guy? <laughs> yeah, what about the Asian guy? Uh -huh. oh, Jesus. Yeah, you get, let's get on the phone with the Chinaman. <laughs> let's talk to the Chinaman. Was he wearing a pointy hat when he fucked us? Oh! oh. Did he have his Kim Jong Il boots on? <laughs> 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 He's just adopted. He's adopted. He's adopted. Are you guys still friends? No, no, I don't. I don't oh, talk to him. No, we talked for a long time after that. We call have, him now. We have a class. <laughs> we have classes together. Can we so call him? I have to see him. I have to see. Hey, him Ho Chi Minh, <laughs> stay off my girl. <laughs> all right, you hear me? I hear you. <laughs> hey, Wang. 
He's <laughs> just <laughs> bad. She's blowing hop sing. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck. He shot his duck sauce on her. It's <laughs> degrading. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants us to talk to her, Sean. Come on. Let's get her on the phone. Yeah, let's hear this once and for all, man. Let's yeah, let's go. We either talk, talk to the Chinaman or the or the girl. She wouldn't agree to it in the first place. Oh. Yeah, she will. Why? She's a whore! I think she saw, I think she saw, I think she saw the Mary Carey thing that's yeah. on uh, YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And she had a... A breakdown. Yeah, a breakdown over that. So why don't we say? Why don't we do this? We call her up. We say we have a we have a relationship therapist in studio. It'll be played by Colin Quinn, and we'll try to like uh, work this out for you. I mean, she's just not gonna. She'll hang up, and I don't know. She's not gonna hang up right away. Just you get on that phone right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plus, she's work, yeah. She's working right now. I'm gonna drop you off in the hood. Uh, <laughs> they played Pearl Harbor. He laid down, and she blew the shit out of him. Good. <laughs> 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 Let's call real fast. And, you know, yeah, come on, Sean. Let's we don't have an ending now. to whatever we just did for the last hour. <laughs> you need my cell phone? good stuff, man. You'll She's be a star from this. <laughs> She's at work right now. All right, so what? <laughs> She's at work? Break. Are you sure? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, well, I should work at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that would suck, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, she brings the egg rolls out in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, we should we should break. Guy. We'll try to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna. This happen. is a work in progress. It is okay. That's this is a know. continuing storyline. Oh, of course it is. I think you get a lot of pussy uh, after this segment. Yeah, this I think guy, a lot of, Let me tell you. I think there's some girls guys. out there that are fucking into this type of thing. He can I, just go out he's like and Twilight. fucking get laid. You want to yeah, give out yeah. your email or something so you get some fucking pussy writing you? Get some vampire. Teeth you want to give out your Facebook? What do you want to do? Be great. You can't find him on Facebook oh, because uh, he's not in the public <laughs> profile. I, I would give out my email, but I'm still on AOL. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> the internet training wheels yeah. got to come off. You're basically the last guy there. <laughs> and I'm still paying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still paying. I'm one of those guys. Yeah, I just never changed it to... Welcome, Keith. <laughs> you have mail. <laughs> <laughs> Every chat room is just labeled <laughs> Keith. Keith. Keith's room. Right. Goodbye, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to break, and I guess we'll figure something out next, so. Yeah. Files done, Keith. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Files done, Keith. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> hey, well, Jesus. Oh, Holy shit. Crazy. I think we got to talk Sound to Keith next. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick the fucking phone up. I'm on the line. <laughs> I'm loyal, damn it. I'm loyal. Holy <laughs> uh, shit, man. The uh, tough crowd alumni. That's Look sweet. at this. Hey, man. Jimmy, Keith. I know. Now that uh, tough crowd is a new tough crowd canceled. Now. They're all yeah. coming our way. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw Colin last night on TV. I was watching him on the uh, Celebrity Poker on Bravo, and um, he actually won. He won the the whole thing last night. Table of six, I guess. And uh, he was playing some of the worst poker I've ever seen anyone play. The guy would not lay down a hand. He would not fold for nothing. He was playing like. Eight three off suit against you know Ace King, and he would win. The flop would come out and give him two pair, and he's you know he's betting like a madman on the crappiest hands. And the last card flips over, and it's one of his goddamn cards. And he he just kept eliminating people left and right, playing like an, a complete idiot, and uh, he wins the whole thing. And no one they said they couldn't figure out what he was doing if he was bluffing or not. Uh, they said because he always just has this miserable look on his face, <laughs> and they couldn't tell if he had a good hand, a bad hand, because he's just always mm, mm, he's got that face like he's smelling something bad constantly. <laughs> yeah, and then 
<laughs> and he's the only one. I've been watching that show for a while, and uh, everybody, all these celebrities that show up there, they must tell them, yeah, well, there's going to be a camera on your hands because, you know, you're looking at your cards. And everyone's perfectly manicured. they they, they got these uh, beautiful nails. <laughs> Colin picks up his cards once. The camera goes right on his fingers. I swear to God, the homeless guy that I pass every morning, his hand wrapped around his gin bottle had better nails on it than Colin's last night. Cuticles all ripped up, dirt under his fingernails. They were all chipped up. What the hell's that Irishman doing? He's finished. That's what he's doing. After tough crowd, <laughs> after tough crowd, he had to get a gig uh, loading ships at the dock. Yeah, yeah. The goddamn guy is a mess. He's a mess. He'll be fighting Screech and celebrity boxing next. <laughs> oh man, he is finished. <laughs> God damn. He had, a, he had a great run. He had a great run. Hey, are you ready for next week, Anthony? We're going I to L- am ready. We're going man. to L.A. Uh, Anthony's doing the poker thing next week. At I'm the, in the World Poker Tour. The World Poker Tour in L.A. next week. We're broadcasting live. What? Uh, Wednesday and Thursday? Yep, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm in the Invitational. You know, celebrity and uh, poker superstar is going to be playing. And, and I'm in it. Are you practicing? I've been practicing every night. I'm online. It takes a away. lot of patience to play that game. It does take a lot of patience. You, you really, spend... I, I don't have that patience. I, no. I'm sitting there because I, I want to do stuff. I you want to play. Talk. I want to yap. And I, you know, I'm the worst bluffer ever. Because you can just soon you know, I get a good ham. Yeah, I bet everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. It is a game of patience, man. It's one of those things where uh, you spend a lot of time folding. If you have bad hands time after time, you just fold the goddamn things. You get kind of... You start thinking after you fold to eight, ten consecutive hands, you're going, maybe I'll play this one, you know, because you just want to get into it. But you got to be very disciplined and stuff. And that's like last night watching Colin. It was hysterical. The guy is playing crap just to play. And then you know, someone will come on top of him and go, you know, raise him like thousands of dollars. And, and he just makes his face like, mm, why not? Slides his money in. He's got crap. And then that last card flips. Boom! It's his. It's the card he needed. We need to get him on the phone. Oh, it was hysterical. He could give you some advice for next week. The guy, if I play like him, I'd be out in a second. Believe me. Do you have your gimmick yet? I don't have a we gimmick. We need a gimmick for him. I don't have a gimmick. What, well, I'm going to wear like the... I'll wear the spring on the eyes and the... What am I, what am I going to do? Wear a beanie with a propeller on it? How about Colin's gimmick of AIDS hands? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was his gimmick. I didn't even figure that out. But he can't tell what he's saying. You know, he, he's saying, I hold, but they think he's got to keep it. Give him a card. Give him a card. Stumbling, <laughs> muttering. Stumbling, that idiot. <laughs> the guy was probably telling everyone what his hand was. Hold. Hold. He's hold. I guess I'll play, you know. Hey, you know, President Bush, you know, he's still doing tough crowd in my life. <laughs> I'm staying here, stupid. <laughs> God, I love him. Love him. But, yeah, he won the whole thing. But I'm I'm very, uh, I, I think my strategy is going to be really sit back and really wait for the good hands. That seems to work. I've been playing in a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the table games online, mm-hmm. not the cash games either, like the ones where you, you, you pay a fee to get in, get the chips that aren't real money. It's uh, just chips, and then you see how long you last. And I made it. I, I won uh, quite a few, and I'm, I mean, I'm in the money most of the time. Well, there's, there's professional yeah. poker players. How do you know? Like, if you enter a room, can you figure out who the professional is? Like, you walk in. The guy in. with the big stack of chips in front of him. <laughs> I don't know if these sons of bitches are like fucking Kreskin. They know exactly what you're doing. These guys will know if you're trying to put one over on them. They'll know if you have a good hand, and they they fold out of nowhere. I've seen guys like last night. I I, I came up on a hand where uh, the flop comes out, all the cards are out on the table now, and there's a chance that someone could have a flush. I have three aces. No way I'm laying that down. And the guy hits me with a big bet. So I'm thinking he's probably got the flush, but I don't have the discipline to throw down three aces. So I saw it. Boom, he turns up his flush. I'm out, you know. I, I blew it. But these guys know. They can sense this shit, that that flush is there. The guy, the way the guy's betting, the way he bet from the first card that came out, they know that that flush was there. 
I wonder what was that Texas Hold'em that they were playing back in the old Western movies where they had the pistols, you know, and the guys would cheat. Was that Texas Hold'em? Apparently back not. Then? It was just stud, five parts <laughs> stud <laughs> or something. Yeah, no numbers be... on them. You have to count the shit. The, like yeah. five parts. <laughs> no, because <laughs> everybody cheated back then, so I didn't know. Yeah. You know, no <laughs> one played Hold'em you know, except for the pros. <laughs> Up until recently, no one ever heard of friggin' Hold'em. Everyone, I mean, get together with your buddies. What are you playing? Seven cards, stud. No offense, nigger in the woodpile. <laughs> yeah. Come up with these dumb Oh, wait a minute. Games. No offense, nigger in the woodpile. <laughs> hey, none taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell, Anthony? It was a game, man. Uh, hey, you could have paused that for the no offense, man. <laughs> and, no offense. I didn't really mean it. You should have just said it. Yeah, don't give me the no offense just to cut so you could say it. And see what kind of reaction uh, you get. Yeah. Well, hey, and right. then you could have moved forward a little more gingerly. Yeah, Jesus. Man. You should have said, no offense, stupid nigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just slip oh, this one God, right back. <laughs> you play your dopey games at your friends, but no one ever heard us to hold them up until all this and crap now, on TV. Since, since it's been on TV, Fat Bob Kelly is trying to start these gambling tournaments. Oh, is he? Because he's such an empty addict. He oh, has what an idiot. And he wants to invite couples over for meals. What a lonely jackass. Couples <laughs> over for meals? Yeah, he wants hey, to get another couple to come over. So he's trying to fill up his stupid, empty life. That fat idiot. <laughs> that poor bastard. He really, oh, he... Annoys me. <laughs> Sorry, sink fucking son of a bitch. I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna see prostitutes for the rest of my damn life. That's what I'm going to do. I'm never going to stop seeing prostitutes. I'm gonna be happy. I send the prostitute problem. chocolates and flowers for <laughs> Valentine's Day. I love them. <laughs> They're the only women I ever will love. And he seems to have a problem with he that. He has like a problem. He wants to stop all, you know, because he thinks his karma is bad. That's what. It, that's all he's doing yeah. anything for, that idiot. He seems to be very spiritual. <laughs> but t- that's so not going to help your career, Bob. It's not going to help, stupid. <laughs> I was I, I was under the impression it was just another schlep comic that didn't care how many hookers they screw. With. No, but this guy really had this problem. He, he he came in here and talked about how he wants to get his life together, get a girlfriend, be in a real relationship, but he's got these demons that he can't seem to uh, get out of his mind. We all have them, and they don't go away, stupid. They don't just go away with <laughs> proper eating diet. He thinks if he eats right, his horror fetish will go away. I have more respect for the guys that embrace it, understand what it is, and just live with I it. I embrace it. I borrow money from women just to buy <laughs> prostitutes. <laughs> he really is filth. You guys are all uh, from the same mold. It's just amazing. Oh, I know. They're just all Keith Robinson, Jim Morgan, Bob Kelly, yeah. Rich Voss. We got some news about Rich Voss. Have oh, you heard yet? That idiot. You heard? I want to see her try to find a ring for that small finger on his <laughs> <laughs> yeah. little baby hand. B- Boss called in to tell us that he got engaged. Oh, what a moron. Valentine's Day, even though he's claiming it wasn't Valentine's Day because it was 2 in the morning. Oh, he got that Valentine's Day. Good 2 a.m. at a Best Valentine's Western after Day. eating at a diner. <laughs> at, oh, at a diner. <laughs> he, no no yeah. joke. He ate at a diner, then went to a Best Western, and then... Uh, Proposed at, uh, what, uh, 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 2 in the morning. Yeah. At a Best romantic. Western hotel? Yeah, because they had to fly the next morning. So we picked Bonnie up at the airport. They went to a diner and then the Best Western. Oh. So it was, like, it was like an airport hotel, basically, right? Yeah. Ugh. Fucking Ted Bundy proposes. <laughs> 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 the Best Western. One of those bad oh. wood paneled rooms. It was actually the place where Henry Lee Lucas committed that last murder. <laughs> in a suitcase with a cadaver in it. <laughs> Room next door to pilots banging some stewardess, and there's Voss proposing. And it's going to make me happy when she takes all this little uh, last comic stand money, because she can use that as an excuse for the proposal to at a Best Western <laughs> when she dumps his dumb ass. Oh, two-time loser, Voss. It'll be really sad to be around. Really sad. Oh, oh uh, my wife, my ex-wife. My ex-wife she left me. I don't know why. She oh, said something about a Best Western. <laughs> best, best Western. <laughs> That's his honeymoon. <laughs> the Best Western sweets. <laughs> Hop into their twin beds when they're done. And right in front of her, he's bragging that he had, he got a good deal on the ring. Like, oh, yeah. He's just a man. Really <laughs> busting apart those Jewish stereotypes. <laughs> yeah, I got a bargain on the ring. His friend was going to get married. Boss's friend was going to get married, and Boss actually bought the ring from this guy because it didn't work out. Get out! Yeah. That's where he got the ring. That's why he said the ring the ring box had chips in it because the guy he got it from was going to get married and I guess decided not to. Chris, that's threw not... it on the floor. Oh, threw it on the pavement. God. That's it, not like a bad sign. Or maybe the girl threw it down on the pavement after. 
after uh, this guy gave it to her. Voss is the kind of Jew that in 1941 would have actually took gold fillings out of other people's teeth <laughs> and made a ring out of it. He really is scum. Never again will we I waste so much gold. <laughs> Got in a box of chocolates from the local drugstore. Yeah. <laughs> Tried to hide the ring in one of them. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, the little box of chocolates in the red heart from the pharmacy. That last ditch effort when you forgot on your way home that it was Valentine's Day. What's that awful brand? The Brax. 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 Brax chocolate. Brax chocolate. The awful stale chocolates in there. Yeah, that really says I love you. <laughs> He's a fool. He is a fool. Oh, Damn. no one shows up at his wedding. None of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> we all just don't. We're too busy. <laughs> Can't make it. I got gigs. What are you going to do? He said he's doing it on a Sunday, so the comedians... And I know I'm going to have one of the highest paid gigs ever, and I'm going to have course. to cancel. To be best. Of course you are. I'm going to be very resentful and not really into it. You get married in L.A. or Jersey? Probably. He'll, L.A., come on. Yeah, he'll do it. L.A. He'll do an L.A. wedding so he can tell everyone. Because he thinks he'll get all the LA. celebrities to go yeah, there. The stars yeah. will come. <laughs> Since he's doing the Oscars, he thinks, you know, somebody will stop through Denzel and yeah. <laughs> some of his Stars. new friends. <laughs> that fan and fatty. That <laughs> Ralphie May will just be sitting there at a table with no one but himself <laughs> eating without utensils. It really is going to be an awful wedding. Jay Moore will be throwing up something that smells like Vicks vapor rub in the corner. <laughs> Oh, boss is finished. <laughs> Jay's in the paper today. For what? Um, what, what did Jay Moore do, Anthony? Yeah, that's a cute little story. Uh, I don't, the, the headline is Granny Heckler. Jay Moore's raunchy comedy almost raised almost raised an extra twenty five thousand dollars for charity on Saturday, when an outraged grandmother <laughs> offered to pay that much if Moore would just shut his dirty mouth at a Minneapolis uh, fundraiser. For kids with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the last comic standing star joked about how well endowed he was and how he wanted to bag the female auctioneer. The fed up granny finally had enough and shouted to Moore that she'd donate $25,000 if he'd shut up. He didn't stop and thanked uh, Grandma before he left the stage. That's the whole story. Is he well endowed? I'm trying to remember when he was banging that black uh, hooker. In the, the hooker? In, yeah. In the next room. Was he? Um, Allegedly. Uh, the black hooker chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Seven yeah. and a half, I've heard, Jay. About seven and a half. Seven, seven and, and a half. half. Yeah, I guess that, that would be I'm impressed right. with that. Keith I, is, and he's I doubt laughing. he is. Yeah. He no, laughs, he laughs seven, at seven and a half. Seven and a half. No, you, you can't do that. Seven and a half is small. I think small, it's small, huh? Yeah. <laughs> See, I knew Keith I would laugh small. at that. <laughs> Jay always said he was a grower, not a shower. Right. A, which was oh, what he always said. So. A grower, not a shower. Yeah, like if you just pull it <laughs> yeah, out. Some guys have a, you know, it's a nice presentation. It's it's uh, it's happening already. And other guys, you know, you're hung like an acorn, but it grows to a massive thing. I remember you, you, years ago, Florentine and Wild would used to pull trains with Keith. And this, I knew Keith, but not as well as I do now. And Florence would go, the guy is so abusive to women. All he does is hit him and pull their hair. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. All he would talk about. Disgusting. No, Florentine. All he would talk oh, about was how Florentine. big Keith's mule was and how it hooked to the left. <laughs> and how he liked to hurt girls with it. <laughs> what else do you have? you got a big penis, you hurt women. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, you won't turn down a nice guy the next time, will you, bitch? <laughs> wow. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, they were they were always goofing on you, making those allegations. I don't know, but I never heard the story on Last Comic Standing, uh, Last Comic Standing, um, uh, Tough Crowd, about your problems with the law. And some rape allegation from years ago. <laughs> rape allegation. What 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 is the story? Uh, well, I, you know what happened is uh, this <laughs> this girl. Uh, we are in, we're in the bed, you know, and I'm pleading like a son of a bitch, you know, because we're naked in the bed. You're naked in bed. Yes, butt naked, and uh, she was just like, uh, you know, I'm like, come on, let's do something, please, you know. And she's like, okay, I'll let you do something. How'd you get her naked in bed if she was? Not the, into doing anything. This how psychotic some women are. Women are out of their damn mind. And and she's like, uh, okay, put it halfway in, no pumping. Oh my are god! You so I could just go halfway in and then stop, just like that. She she was torturing you. She was torturing. And that I, was... you know, of course I pumped. <laughs> <laughs> I pump like no other man. <laughs> <laughs> of course.
embarrassed. You, you can't even help that. You got a pump. You can't help that. I was off to the races, man. It's just like, you can go to jail for this. You know this is rape. I'm like, how is it rape? How the hell is that? How is it rape? That it's cannot been like be rape. Seven other times of being accused of rape. I don't know. <laughs> Put it in and don't pump. Don't, no pumping. That's Fantastic. a true story. Do not pump. Halfway in, no pumping whatsoever. And and you pumped and of course I pumped. Of course Why you did. I not pump? And then what I happened? And I tugged her hair the way I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> she went to the cops. Well, she said, you know, she called me on the phone like, you know, you raped me. I'm like, how the hell did I rape you? You said put it halfway in, and I figured that was all the way in, you know. Yeah. Yeah. She was. She. They were just psychotic. I'm a vagina's half full kind of guy. Uh, Jesus. He was clipping. He's fine. And, oh, you know, yeah, it was it was just you know where you go. Women are, I think, women are just not, uh, just with that whole rape thing. It's just it's too much now. How did how did it, how did it get resolved? I mean, well, you know what? She just never did anything. The other girl, this one girl who oh, man, there's too many rape stories. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe it is me. <laughs> who even has one rape story? Jesus. I've never heard someone debate rape in the middle of sex. <laughs> You're raping me. Look, I am not raping you. <laughs> He's going over like court reform and legal precedents. Right. <laughs> no, no. No. Oh my God! One girl, she was like, um, I put a passion mark on her. A passion mark. Yes, you know, and and her boyfriend said a hickey. Yeah, yeah hickey. Don't right. we call a passion mark? You know, according to what neighborhood you're from. I got gotcha. you. And uh, she was she she called the, she told her boyfriend scene and he, and she called the cops. Uh huh. And told, well, she had to tell him that she was she had been assaulted by me, you know. Oh boy! So I go over there, my dumbass go over to the store the next day looking for more, you know. Like, hey, I gave her a good time. I'm gonna go back and see her the next day. Oh, and she's looking at me mean, and I'm like, what the hell? All the, the store employees are looking at me. They're surrounding me, like, yeah, he's the guy. That's the, and the cops. Yeah, that's the rape. Oh god! So I, you walk in all happy, thinking you're getting laid again. Yes, I'm thinking some good stuff is going to happen, and oh. the cops. They pull me over in the parking lot because I finally leave. I'm telling the rest of the guy, go to hell. Yeah, I want to fight. Let's go fight then or whatever. So I go outside. I'm walking to my apartment. The cops pull me over, take me to the police station. Now I have to fill out everything that happened. You know, and it's embarrassing. Like, well, first, I tweaked a nipple a little bit. <laughs> oh, every detail, huh? Yeah, every little detail. Wow. I kissed a thigh. I did this. I sucked one toe. Not that toe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, okay, we, they just let it go. Yeah. You never had to to go on trial for it, though. No, never had to go oh, on okay. trial. Well, I have one pendant, so I have, can't really talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, for, well, the way they, they brought it up on Tough Crowd all the time, it sounded like, you know, like, Kobe in there, getting that ass, tapping that ass. It's just, it's hard, man. I've been with yeah. Keith one time. We got pulled over together. It, we, it, was, it was, it was, we were in, when you lived in Woodbridge. It was me, you. I, I don't know if it was little Kev. There was four of us in the car, and we were just kind of sitting, like in a. We were all just talking in a parking lot. It was dark. It was kind of creepy. So the cops, guy, like, hey, what's going on? You guys all right? And he's just saying, why, why are you asking us? Why? Oh, no. And I'm in the driver's seat. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm going to tell my car. Oh. That's a, yeah, that's another thing I've heard oh. about you. Not very respectful to the cops when you get pulled God. over. You know, it's a Philadelphia thing, man. It's a black thing, my friend. You know what? I, 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 I swear to God. And, and black guys love to talk about when white guys get pulled over, how, you know, it's a big party. It's, we pat each other on the back, goof on the black guys being pulled over and, you know, drive well, you away. All, you all whip out that card that you get. <laughs> yeah. The white card, yeah. The white card. Here you go. Well, you, Here's the card, officer. <laughs> you don't get those up. cards? I don't, I've never had a card. Oh, my God. I get, I get two a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the PBA cards? Yeah. yeah people yeah, have black, never, black guys don't white get the PBA cards? has a card. It must give it to you at birth. There's a birthright for white guys. Dude, I got like... There you go. You want one of my... I got like four. Give me a PBA card. Look how many he's got. I'm not kidding. I got... Uh, Jersey ones, New York... But, uh, yeah. Sergeants, lieutenants. Look at this. See, I'm telling you, I got every white one. guy in this place is pulling out their people. Wait, hold on. I don't, I don't even know. I got, a, I got a sergeant's card. That's two. <laughs> I got, I got two with me. And usually what happens, as soon as I get a better one, I throw uh, I throw the other one away. Oh, look at all these cards. Here's my sergeants. Here's I, my I only got. I only have two uh, right now there. Me too. Sergeants and jerseys. State trooper. So. Yeah. You, got, you got two. You have three? 
We all have two. Look at that, bragging about your yeah. cards. <laughs> bragging about our whitey cards. Your white card. You're playing a white That's card. That's hilarious. I, I just assumed the black guys got them, too. They don't even work with If we had one, they would just tear it up. Well, who did you get this from? <laughs> what white guy did you steal this What do you use this for, <laughs> Jimmy and Open Tours? <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, I, you know something, though? I rarely ever even use it. I don't, I don't even remember using those things. What happens when I get pulled over? I, I instantly turn on the dome light. I, I pull over immediately, turn on the dome light, roll the window down, and put my hands up on the winch, uh, uh, up on the uh, steering wheel until the cop gets to the door. It relaxes him. He doesn't have to yep. worry. He can see in the car the whole time he's walking up. And then I turn and go, hello, officer, good afternoon or night or something, and continue being respectful. Let me see. Do you know what he's doing? What? You see what you're doing? What? Sneaky, you're trying to like tell me how I should be doing it. Like I just jump out the car and knock the cops out of him, Kong kick him in his nuts. I watch cops. I see out of that windshield uh, camera. They take you around back, He's and when they're to looking at you, tell me you blacks are out of hand. Here's what I do. I uh, here's what I do on. as a white person. As a law-abiding white guy, I just anytime I'm watching cops, you guys always got that I'm ready to run look. <laughs> They're always like ready to bolt, and the second that cop turns around, hey, hey, you! <laughs> there they go, off like a shot. But it's surprising those cop shoes. They only show the cops that catch them. That's they don't true. Show yeah, the ones, those fat bastards can't catch all. <laughs> guys running brand new sneakers and stuff. You're not catching them. Forget that. Oh man, that's so you're very say, respectful. So what you're saying is you're respectful when they pull you over. Like if they tried to cuff you and you were with little Kev one time for shushing people out the window, you'd probably yeah. be very respectful. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what he was doing. I, is that illegal? So what the cop I had they they just stopped me because I'm like shh and the women they see me you know from the car shut up I'm yelling telling the girl to shut up and the cop they pulled me over well I, they, I wasn't even driving little stupid Kev Kevin Hart was driving and he didn't have a license that little midget oh boy and uh, the cop is like well where's his license at he said well you know you're in trouble I said well this is my car I'll do the drive and he's like shut up I like I said this is my car I'll drive he said what is your car yeah it's my car Get out the car. I'm getting out the car. Next thing I know, I'm in a wrestling match with a oh, cop. No. <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? And, and the thing about it is, oh. we wrestling, I'm, you know, pushing the cop around. Why are you wrestling? I, I can't help it. What? <laughs> I, can't help it. I, had some, I had some new moves I wanted to try. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> So it's instinctive. I was just oh. watching a Bruce Lee marathon. Yeah. Thinking I'd try some of these out. What is wrong with if you? If a cop, if I ever got out of the car and the cop wanted to cuff me, it would probably be the easiest cuffing he ever had in his life. I would put him back. I'd be like, oh, officer, give me, I'll cuff myself. Well, Courtney, you, you would have the handcuffs on. I would, I would cuff myself. I. I could not imagine fighting with a cop yeah, who has well, a gun I'm and a nightstick. With like five and six cops. Oh, man. We're wrestling five and six cops. And they, you know, I end up just like, oh, what the hell am I doing? I end up thinking to myself, what am I doing? A little moment of clarity. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I put my hand, it was too late then, but I put my hands behind, they cuff me, put me on the ground, and they whip out pepper spray, and me, movie guy, I had some, for some reason, a movie theme came in my head. I'm like, fuck pepper spray. I eat pepper spray. Oh, no. <laughs> and he made me eat him. I started crying like a little girl. <laughs> He emptied the can in my eye. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Holy. Wow. Oh. You're insane. <laughs> and you still are you, you still like this with the uh, cops? Yes, it's police? just a, we all wait in Philadelphia. We used to fight cops like they were civilians. Jeez. So, we, you know, it's just a thing. I, I try my best to just click off that cop thing that's in my head. Yeah. So I don't get a nice How often do you bullet. get pulled over? No, I haven't There's been pulled lot, over no? for a minute. I haven't been pulled over for a minute. It's usually, I usually, my first ever arrest was looking at prostitutes. Yeah. You would go there looking at pro me and my stupid cousin, and the cops tell us to get the hell out of the, get, just go. And I'm mouthing off, go, what about that white guy? He's getting a oh, blowjob right there. Boy. So I'm going to be Malcolm X with, <laughs> <laughs> with prostitutes. Look at the white guy. How about the white man? Stop him from getting a blowjob before you mess with me. <laughs> So they take us to the to the jailhouse to the uh, to the hold to, to the police station, and my cousin he's running his mouth. He's like, "Where's the brothers at, huh? That's what I want to know. Where's the brothers at?" So oh, the cop man. point him to a brother. Like, "There's a brother. Call him a brother." 
And my cousin said, oh, I didn't say nothing. I started laughing. The black cop threw me against the wall. He must have smacked me 72 times in a row. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't like that either. Oh, it was Ooh. just, you know, so that, you know, cops and me and cops never get along. No, no. That's hilarious. <laughs> Keith Robinson in studio. Anthony, oh. we got to take a quick break. <laughs> hey, getting back to that, what was that other story you were telling? I, I don't want to give away the punchline about, uh... Oh, he didn't finish the story about when he was in lockup. No. Yeah, no, you told the story when we were in commercial, and we were laughing really After hard. After the McDonald's? The McDonald's. Oh, oh, when the cops had me on the ground. Well, this and, uh, Is this another story? No, this is the same story. <laughs> I just forgot when I, I said, you know, the hell with a uh, pepper spray, I eat pepper spray. Yeah, yeah. They emptied a can of pepper spray in my eyes, and then another cop gave me a nice cop boot right in the gut. Oh. Now, I had McDonald's earlier. My stomach was rumbling. You know oh, how you have no. that little rumbling and little light farts, <laughs> and he kicked poop right out of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so I go in the cellar with the other, you know, guys in the cellar with me, like, who stinks? Man, did you shit yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were the guy that shit himself shit. in lockup. <laughs> oh, man, that so was they, bad. Yeah, they wanted me out of there, man. <laughs> and the cops hated me so much, they wouldn't let me wash up. Of course not. That's so they, gold for them guys. They, yeah, oh, they Making you sit in your own crap? They took me to the hospital, and the most beautiful, uh, you know, nurse. She was like, "Ooh, he stinks!" I can hear her as she left the room. <laughs> this guy stinks. <laughs> you know, no shot. <laughs> if you stink of crap because you've crapped yourself, you pretty much ruined your shot with the chick. Uh, yeah. I'm in cuffs and I shit my pants, but I'd love to take you out when this is over. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Keith, you're hilarious today, man. I love it. Let's go to Jackie. Jackie, Long Island, you want in on this hey, bubble how thing? You doing? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. What do you look like? <laughs> what do I look like? I'm five two. I weigh about ninety five pounds. I live in Long Island. I have blonde hair. I have all my teeth. <laughs> oh, not, uh, not from Ronkonkoma then. <laughs> what? How old are you? Uh, that I don't want to say. Why? It doesn't oh, matter. You 40. have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have well, to say. Go. Come on, if I'm you did 44. a twenty. What? Exactly. 44. 44. That's right. fine. We should make right. Bobo go out with an old boy. Hey, I'll beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wow. Jesus. Now she's all in. You sure you have all your teeth with that attitude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, that's why I'm getting divorced. I want to keep them. So what? you're getting, you're still married? Uh, Separated. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's fine. Well, so... Mm. Yeah, uh, you need a thousand dollars, obviously, huh? Yeah, I gotta pay the lipo bill, man. Fucking electric is expensive. See, this is what's Island gonna happen shit. with this dumb bit. I have a fucking deal with Long Island girls for fucking that many years. <laughs> they just sound like fucking trash. God. I am not trash. I Shut up! You are area. trash. <laughs> You're a 44 year old Long Island divorce. Oh, so am I. Wait a minute. I'm older. <laughs> Wait a fuck you. <laughs> ah, fuck you. Where are you from? South Shore, right? Oh hell, fucking no. Oh, ooh. Ooh. where are you from? We'll we'll decide if it's a good place. Yeah. Mill Place. Uh, Miller, Miller place. That's close to that whole Riverhead fucking yeah. river thing. Once you get out, uh, once you get out west, it's all shaky south some of those areas. Stop it. Out, out east, of, it's all fucking. A lot of crystal fucking. meth out there. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. This is like close to fucking like Beltane shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Wow. Wow, it makes it sound fancy. I just want to tell like that Keith accent know, is the Long worst. Island girls could scrap. They well, you know, I'm from South Philly. Fighters. South Philly women always could fight. Yeah, yeah, Especially the fighters. ones that couldn't make a ponytail. They could really. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just I don't was angry as shit. That ponytail reference. Uh, I don't understand that. I know. Oh, wow. You're, you're a white girl. You don't, you don't relax. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a black woman thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah relax. All right. you, have a, you, have a, you have a strip? Never. No. Oh, my God, no. All right. Hey, calm down. You're from Long Island. It's a. Almost a prerequisite. Do you shave your vagina, madam? Uh, no, I nair it. You nair it? <laughs> nair. What the fuck? How do you nair in the 70s? <laughs> exactly. Nair. She <laughs> nairs her hair. Do you wash with Breck? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking old lady. <laughs> Funny. I about pussy. Yeah. She does it while she's watching Rhoda. <laughs> 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 
Uh, hey, oh. mom. <laughs> That's what you want to see is chemical burns when you take your fucking panties off. Oh, God. Hey, why damn. are you narrating? You got one of the Golden Girls on the phone. <laughs> That's hilarious. I use nah. Nah. Uh, well, I'm puffing on my Virginia Slims. <laughs> yeah. as, actually, no, I was about to light a Marlboro 100. Oh, there you go. Of course she smokes. Can you tell by the voice? Yeah. That's great. You are a chunk of our fine island, my dear. Well, she's in on the contest. you got to send in your email and your picture, right, Jackie? Oh, I definitely will. Yeah, yeah, please. I'd love to see you go with Bobo. Just rip them apart. See, we already got contestants. Yeah. I bet she's not bad looking, though. Of course, it's not quite the 44 I would like to have Bobo with. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you said you wouldn't date a woman in her 40s. No, I wouldn't. I would probably fuck somebody at all. I would fuck them, yes. But I wouldn't date them. Trust me. It's like, I look good for my age. I'm sure you do. I just wouldn't oh, wait, date somebody that, that age. For my age sucks. Yeah. 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 I, I hate I hearing that. that. For my age. You date them three no, months, they're going to go to the hospital, have their plumbing taken to, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People should be able to just say, I look good. Not yeah. for my age. You're fucking three years away from a prolapsed vagina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my fucking labia. That's great. Get yourself one of those vaginal web things that they're <laughs> always preaching about on TV. That call a lawyer because oh. your cunt's gonna fall out. I yeah. love that. You sneeze and it tumbles out like a slinky. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out like a party favor. Oh. <laughs> Have you put nair on your pussy? Or not? <laughs> <laughs> if you use nair on your pussy, call us. Binder and Binder. You missed her hacky sack uh, joke though. She had a terrific hacky sack joke. You have enough on. fucking vag meat hanging out. We'll take care of the rest. Wait, listen to her hat. Puts a hat on her pussy. His thumb binder and binder hat. <laughs> what, was, what was the labia joke again? Because they, they missed it. Oh, what happened with and, your labia? And it was terrific. It I was didn't a hear good, you, it madam. Was a good line. Go ahead. No, it's... Wait, you're not on me. Well, no, 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 you were talking about we're right now. here. We're right here on the phone. Jesus. She just fucking hung up. What a dope. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, Long Island. Let's oh. go to Bubba in Texas. Bubba. Hey, guys. Hey. You're busting that apart those stereotypes. Lying. I had my wife put some nair on her pussy. Swole up all not nice. I did not get laid that night. But nair swells a pussy. Yeah, it even says it, I think, on the... <laughs> <laughs> pussy swell. Pussy May cost. May cost. Yeah, your pussy's going to get the bends. <laughs> it says it on the box. Oh, uh, shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> May cause pussy swelling. Light irritation and pussy swelling. <laughs> uh, Jackie's back. Jackie. <laughs> I got cut off. I didn't understand what happened. No, we heard you. We, we, we actually asked you. We to know about your labia. Yeah, we asked you a question and then went silent for your answer. And oh, you. Okay. Uh, what, was, what was the question? You had a labia joke that was terrific that these guys stepped on, and I wanted to give you we the opportunity hear, to yeah. retell it. No, I said I do hacky sack with my hanging fucking labia lips because you said something about because I'm so old. Well, do you have a big vagina? No, I don't have children. Why don't uh, no. you have children? Do you have a big vagina? Do you have a big vagina? <laughs> you don't have children. No, I don't. Why no. don't you have children? Oh, I don't have a big vagina. And guess what? I hate niggas, too. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. That what just the went hell wrong. Happened there? <laughs> what the fuck just happened there? Well, That's it actually in her singles ad. <laughs> <laughs> She's referring to Anthony Yaki. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I just got a. I, oh, just got I was the one who, who said yard H the other day, and Anthony liked it. I didn't get apes. Look, I Sweet didn't Jesus. say anything. I just Holy said somebody shit. made a reference that made me laugh. Holy By shit. the way, uh, Jackie just got a picture in of, of you. Oh, oh my God, wait. I a... have a great game that can be played by all O&A fans. It's called the ABCs and Niggas. What you do is you... Sweet Jesus, you on a, a, a roll. What the uh... fuck are you saying? Yeah, why are you insulting uh, Keith? <laughs> I'm not a nigger. But no, I mean, just like she's saying that, uh, you what know, you, why are you insulting our friend? Let me finish. By the way, oh, this, sorry. Why are your eyes the... cross-eyed? Yeah, what happened? You got cross-eyes. Oh, you got one more nigger, I'm going to come kick the nair off your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, fuck you. Just listen to me, God damn it.
I'm guest marriage counselor for for, yes. uh, for Rich and his victim um, <laughs> uh, at the uh, Village Underground, which I'm actually looking Next forward Tuesday. to. Next Tuesday, I'm so yeah. happy I can so, do that. Yeah, it's oh, going to be a lot. Fun. It's going to be fucking fun Tuesday. Bobby's producing it. Uh, Ooh. When did Bobby become this? Uh, I've had enough of Bobby. He's a mogul. He's, he's a, yeah. a media yeah, mogul now. It's like word. an internet <laughs> mogul. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's a uh, b- b- big mover and shaker, as Bonnie, they say. Bonnie is an ordained minister now, so he can marry people. He, he, Bobby? He t- yeah, he took a test. Oh. He's an ordained minister. Didn't he say Bonnie? I thought no, you said Bobby. Bonnie. Bobby. Did he just say Bobby or uh, Bobby he said or Bonnie? Bonnie I said like Bobby. It. Shut up. I said Bobby. <laughs> Travis, you, you play wanted back. to say Bobby, but your mouth <laughs> said it sounded like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, what? what happens to words in that fucking dopey mouthy oyster? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Words, are, words in his brain form fine, and then as they begin to come out of the mouth, all of a sudden a fire alarm goes off, and they <laughs> panic, and they bump into his teeth and trip over his tongue, and they just fall out in any order they want. <laughs> Not in oh. an orderly fashion. No. no. <laughs> Stop looking at me and thinking. <laughs> what do you say? Well, you I can hear him thinking. I can hear him thinking. Can we hear it? Yeah, yeah, we got to hear it. It's like Bobby. Okay. Yeah, he's a uh, b- b- big mover and shaker, as Bonnie, they say. Yeah. Bonnie is an ordained minister. Oh, I said Bonnie. Yes. Yes. See, you did. Yes. Rest our See, case. Well, because they both have tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, they don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just brutal. Wow. Wow. Just brutal. Jeez.